haven't left out your community. All right. I trust I haven't. So, Barracks. Yes, Mama. Thank you, Gracie. Hey. Cornwall Barracks. Hey, Gracie. Yes. Well, you must say Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, Barracks. I already a lot of Atlanta have, people, man. Yeah, I a lot of Atlanta nobody people live up already. At Mm. And I hope I haven't left any of our American mm. friends because and I, I don't like calling names, no, you know, because I keep Sister forgetting. Garden Sister who? Garden Place. Did you say Buff Bay? No, oh. Buff Bay. Windsor Forest. Yeah, Windsor Forest, yeah. yeah. Castle. And right back to all mm. and all these places. Yeah. Right back in St. Mary, yeah. yeah. So big ups everybody and thanks for locking in tonight. All right, so we see on the text line already, we do have Lady mm. Grace mm. locking in. Yeah, cool. if anybody in you, your community, just text me. <laughs> yeah, with your name. Just Marvin text here um, Watch checked that. in. Me a freeze, but still locked in. Oh, you want to borrow my scarf, Marvin? Oh, shh. <laughs> and can you imagine? I want even bother to say that it's cold here because if Marvin is freezing, we can't talk about coal. We do have a listener online already. Hey, listener, good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, Real Talk. Prestige and Lady Cleo, you leave out Antam Court. Okay. Oh, oh, sure. Well, that sounds, that sounds like St. Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Saint no, Thomas. Patricia. Mm. Antam Court is in St. Thomas, Prestige. no? Yeah. Patricia. Um, court. Where is Ampton Court? In St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Okay, yes, that's what I know. Mm. So we're going yeah. to St. Thomas. We have to say St. Thomas because we're going to see some whole papi. Like Massa, some whole heap of places. She was calling she was calling name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my mistake, my love. My mistake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> down here too. Yeah, we'll have by your community. Yes. Well, I'm glad you're calling in to shout it out. So we invite the others to just give us a quick ring and say, hey, load up my place too. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. All so right. big ups to you and the listeners over there in Hampton Court, all right? Yes, ma'am. All okay, right, darling, girl. keep it locked. Yes, all right. <laughs> I made a mistake of calling names, you know. You guys leave out Clavity Cottage. Oh. Where's that, though? Yeah. Clavity Cottage. Well, I'm not I don't sure. Be and go up in the valley there. I don't know. Eh? Eh, I saw we gave him new ones. Mm, yes, yeah, some places. Oh, places. That's yeah, why I, I, I try to see yeah. if I can I get the that, names, you know. Above be and go down. Go down above beer there and I turn have the family in barracks. Yeah. Oh, she has family in barracks. Oh, yes, I agree. Yeah. All right, so tell us where you're from now. Yeah, man, tell us yeah. where you're from. We want to know because we don't know everywhere, you know. Mm. We haven't been everywhere, mm. so we don't know. Sometimes Reason. I know you're listening and you don't, you don't call to say, oh, I'm from so-and-so. But give us a call tonight, man, and tell us where you're from and who you are. Windsor. And share the ideas. Up at Windsor, Rea Grande. Yes, we have oh, that Windsor, too. Locked, you know? About three Windsors. Simmons Valley. Cheswick, Big Up, and Dolby Peeps. That sounds like St. Thomas. Yes. Mm. Baby girl, baby, mm. baby girl, is baby girl or baby girl? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure which one it is, but big ups to you, pretty girl. Yeah. Mm. All right. So, Sunning Hill locked in as well. Blessed Friday night, DJ Prestige mm. and Lady Cleo Bad locked us. in. All right. Good to know. Good to know, Kamoy. Mm. All right. You know, um, the week has been a busy one, but today, man, a whole lot of rain for mm. Yeah. The rain was just, ooh, yeah. blessing us up. The weather, That's what I have to call it. The weather. The weather is perfect, don't you? Yeah. For bed. That's the reason why, you see. You're looking so sharp and ah, clean and sweet. The weather. The weather. The weather. Yeah, oh. the weather. So what, what, how, how has the weather mm -hmm. affected you? Keep me cool. Make me look fresh. Oh. Yeah. So you love this kind of weather. Yes. Yeah. You sure is the weather you caught you? You sure is the weather? Yeah, yeah, yeah jump. I mean, you said something about BED. Did you say something about Yes, BED? I said this weather calls for the bed. Because yeah. your bed is one of the most comfortable places, I'm yeah. sure, Go for everybody. Well, well, I would hope that your yeah. bed is very comfortable. You go in the bed and lie down and sleep. Yeah, man, and just cuddle up with your, your live blanket or your blankets, mm -hmm. your dead blanket. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Once you have a blanket... Oh, your pillows, yeah. right. And you cuddle and you watch some TV if you want to, or listen, listen to some music... You know, mm. um, on Alexa or your radio, your regular good old radio you is good. For this weather too, you know? Yes, and just just you feel just nice and just sleep. Worse when you hear the the rain pitter patter, pitter patter on the the roof. Yeah. Or you hear it tumbling like bullets on the roof. Oh my God! And you're wrapped in bed, just mm. oh, just comfy. It's a it's a lovely place to be when it rains. What happened if your roof deck? 
You're not gonna really enjoy it so well, I tell you. Why you make up your face so well? Because I've had the experience of of yeah. being. I, I didn't even yeah. know it was raining. Yeah. Because I was downstairs, downstairs. and I'm like, what's that sound? But it was a fan. And you mm. check it was really rain. Yeah. But it's when you go upstairs now mm. and you hear like the, the original oh room. yes, man, I love the, the long time sound of the rain the just yeah. beating and just. Yeah. You're like, oh my God, I don't have to be outside. Mm. So of course we say big ups to those who have it like that. And of course we hope and pray that those who don't have it like that, of course the blessings will flow that soon and very soon they will be able to share in that same kind of you know, pleasure of having a warm place to lay their heads. Mm. And whatever we can do to help somebody else to achieve that, then I think we ought to because that's where our blessings will definitely come. All right, guys, it's now 9.31 and we go to our first break. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around, we soon come. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Planning a party? Club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM, for the most effective way to exploit your market. Marketing dollar. Some say that Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya are found in water and that by drinking the water we can get infected. But that's false. Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya are transmitted through the bite of a mosquito that breathes in stagnant water. Protect yourself and your family. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Good night and welcome back to Real Talk. You know, it's um, Prestige and Lady Cleo on set tonight. We go from now until 12 midnight. So we invite you to stick around. If you're just joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. And of course, this is the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Uh, just to acknowledge and pause to acknowledge for a moment, they send our deepest condolence to the family of Miss Ziri, Mrs. Ziri Smart. Um, of course, uh, I know that the family is going through a very, very rough time at this point, and all of her friends and associates and all the other family members, a very wonderful, wonderful lady, with whom I've had the privilege of working at her 
institution or evening institution some years ago and of course we've maintained very very good you know relations um the the children also i'm sure are going through a hard time our husband but we pray your strength and we continue to pray and hope that you will be able to you know find comfort in the wonderful memories and bonds that i'm sure you guys have made over the years um i know one of our daughters mrs smart nation is the guidance counselor at boston primary school as well as sherwood forest um, primary school so our hearts and prayers go up for them ramon who i know has been so integral in the last couple of years at smart skills training institution that's at west palm yes and like i said the entire immediate family and the extended family deepest deepest condolence and we pray that God will see you through this very, very saddened time. You know, very sad time and very heartfelt condolence again going out to you. All right. And as it relates to issues going on in our country, there are so many issues. There are so many things happening in the news. There are so many things that are affecting people here, there, everywhere. Um... A bus overturned, was it Sunday, you said? Su um, Sunday. Yeah, one person? One person. It was a fatal accident. Yeah. Oh, man. And yeah, it's unfortunate it's that, yeah. you know, Last these people, people have to lose their lives in mm. this kind of way. It's, it's hardly ever a case where people are getting sick and dying, you know? I Accidents. mean, of age. Yeah. Where they've done, you know done their four score years and more mm. whatever the case be but but so many people are dying via the gun violence domestic violence the ac reckless driving on the roads oh my goodness when will we ever learn when will we ever stop yeah so all the people out there who are going through hard takes and pain right now we express comfort and the peace that passes all understanding to you right now all right and we hope hope that somehow some way you know you'll find comfort in your hearts because it's not nice at all to lose your loved ones the way that people are dying these days all right and i pray for peace if you can walk away from an, a, 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 a bad situation before it gets ugly, just walk away. It takes a big man or a big woman to walk away from a bad situation. Now make it turn out into a war where somebody stabs somebody and somebody end up in hospital or you know behind bars or something. Let's let's do the mature thing sometimes and just walk with man. Just walk it out. All right. So remember, guys, we can't get any WhatsApp voice notes. Just WhatsApp text messages, all right, on the 453144 number, all righty? If you wish to hear, for us to hear your voice, which, of course, we would love to hear, please feel free to call that local number or call us on the International Connection, all right? Um, we're quick, quick, quick. Yeah. Cass, um, not Cassidy. Prestige has some shout outs. Yeah, I want to say good night going out to um, Bridging up there in um, Atlanta, Trevor Lee. Good night to you, Vita. Ringo, big up a save every time. Good night to Nurse Kyers, locked into Styles FM. Cool. Right? She's from like Jamaican. Yeah. Live right here in Port Antonio. All right. Yeah, Vivian, big up a save every time. Easy not doing it. We are going with Ama, my Bridging over there in Norwich. Big up a save every time, Timmy. Marcy up there in the United States of America and Jackie or that Chile Lane. Keisha, big up yourself. Peace. All right. And of course, shout outs to the Grant Sisters who teach at Port Antonio Primary School. Big ups to you ladies. Yeah. Very vivacious and bubbly girls. Yes. And of course, Mommy up there in Whitehall, St. Thomas and Daddy and Nell. And the rest of the family, Uncle Barry, big ups to you as well. All right, good night, Princess from St. Thomas. Okay, is me the princess you're talking, or you are the princess? Because <laughs> I'm a princess too, you know. 
I have roots in St. Thomas, so it could be me too. Yeah. So you have to, you have to clarify, honey. You got to yeah. clarify. Yeah. If it's both of us, that's a problem. Yeah. I'll share the princess hood. Yeah. Sorry. I'll share the princess ness. That's some better. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. What happened to you? What happened to you? <laughs> I can't take you, you know. Oh, Celia yeah, Roper yeah. Johnson, good night to you. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? All right, yeah, so, yeah, and really. Oliver Williams, big yeah. up yourself, sir. Yeah. Good night to you, sir. Yeah. We can, of course, you see, it's, it's a both of us, so yeah. we're sharing the princess nest. Not make that mistake again. You might princess get to your case. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Be a so, here with our neighbor. <laughs> Vivian. <laughs> In Atlanta, my friend Vivian in Atlanta is locked in. Mm. Good to see you on Vivian. I wonder how First Lady doing. I hope she's fine. All right. Um, all right. Virgin Geary up there in New Jersey. Dumfries, yeah. Portland. I did not know that there was a Dumfries in Portland. I know of a Dumfries in St. Thomas. Mm. But I just learned from you tonight and from our texter yeah. that there is a Dumfries in Portland. Yes. Wow. Yes. All right, so tonight we have a very, very, very sensitive and also interesting and real talk. You know, it's real talk, right? So we're giving it to you real because these are issues that are really, really affecting people out there. Yes, and of course, we try to go outside the box and look at some of these issues and see how we can dissect them, bring light, bring light to them so that we can hopefully help somebody, just somebody, if it's even one body might be able to get some advice and some help from these topics. All right. Um, yes. Be fat. Good night to you too, my dear. Hmm. <laughs> Man, how you talk about prestige clean shave around the head. Oh, Jesus. Peter. Peter. <laughs> Annette in Duck and Feel locked in as well. All right. Sadie and the crew. All right. What's, what is Sadie saying there quickly? Um, Sadie says, hey, Cleo and Prestige. Topic shot tonight. Prestige, a Christian tonight. Him sweet all the time, Cleo. All when him in a ragged clothes. A true. A true. But him extra sweet tonight. Thank God for the weather. Thank you, Sadie, for always acknowledging that. Aye, sure. Thank you very much, dear. Aye, aye. Blushings are going on, Sadie. You wash your and I roll up in our, in our face and all these things. <laughs> Pure blushing are going on the studio. <laughs> 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 all right. So, guys, you know we do our Vox Pop, right? And I want to invite our first-time callers, listeners, rather, to call in tonight. If it's your first time listening in, or if you've never called in, but you've always listened and you've never called in, I want to hear from you tonight. All right? So let's see who else is there quickly. All right. There was somebody else just now that I missed. Ooh, secret admirer. Mm, interesting. All right. So we go to our Vox Pop, Cassidy. And then, of course, we take it back to the text line and see how much our listeners are sharing on the Vox Pop idea. Remember the local number, um, Prestige? What's the local number again? 876-453-1454. And, and the overseas number is 954-338-7973. All right. Uh, we welcome you to indulge in our discussion. So here we go with our Vox Pop. <clears throat> Sorry. For tonight. Caught between two worlds, making your relationship work. Caught between two worlds and making your relationship work. Your partner is now at the crossroads of spirituality and requires your full understanding. Considering your present lifestyle and the possible limitations that lie ahead. Are you ready? Are you ready for this transition your partner is about to make? Would you give up your lifestyle and join your partner on the spiritual journey? Praise Jesus. 
Should your partner's spiritual calling become burdensome to you or on you? Would you stay in the relationship or start to seek other options? So I got, I got, I got options. But you the, you the, you the, you the top one. All right. So caught between two worlds, making your relationship work. We know, and you out there know, that there are times when people are in relationships, whether common law or yeah. otherwise. And things seem to be going quite fine. Yes. But then there comes a time sometimes, and if it not happen yet, it might soon happen for some people. Yeah. Right? There comes a time when your partner, one partner, whether the female or the male, might say, hey, you know what? I've now received the calling mm. from Christ. Mm. And I want to change my life. And I'm with this woman mm -hmm. or I'm with this man. Mm -hmm. And I want things to be different now because I'm going to be transitioning over into the spiritual world yes. so th some things i used to do before my christian principles that i'll be following you know doesn't you know these principles don't speak to that kind of lifestyle so i'm gonna have to make some adjustments so your partner right ladies the man you're with the man you love dearly or gentlemen the woman you're the woman you're with I said women, oh Lord. The woman you're with, <laughs> she wants to change her life and make that spiritual journey, start that spiritual journey. But you have to consider now, say, boy, you know, my present lifestyle, boy, I'm tell you, you know, man, if me follow she, you know, go down the Christian walk thing, you know, a whole heap of limitations in a star, I can't manage that. Or, you know, the girl might say, me... My job, you know, job of me do requires me to go and enjoy myself in the nights and, and, and dance on the poles and do whatever, you know? Or I won't have any time to go to church because I work late hours and I work on Sundays and Saturdays, whatever the case be. And I might not be able to find a time to go to church with my partner or, you know, even to get married for that matter. Yeah. Are you ready to make this transition your partner is about to make? So... This is a question that mm -hmm. some people are faced with a challenge mm -hmm. because they're saying, the way I'm living now, I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. Maybe even um, Danny, what's his name in, 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 in um, our friend there, old prospect? Oh, Donovan. Donny, yes. Yeah. Donovan will say, all right, my good, me don't want to change it. Nothing if you adjust. Yeah. <laughs> he might be one of those persons who say, look, the way you come and see me, I someone want to live. My good. You know, when you come and try to change nothing about me, mm -hmm. this is all I want to do. We, we're fine. Mm -hmm. Everything is okay. Mm -hmm. So why you want to try and change my lifestyle? You, you come and you make him and meet me this way. Yes. So some people might debate that. Some yeah. people might argue that. Yeah. Right? So the question really is, are you ready to make that transition? Do you have a partner who you're having a warm time with in terms of trying to help them to reach the place that you're at or see from your perspective? And are they giving you a warm time in making it any much of an easier transition? Hmm. Food for thought. 876-453-1444. Listen to me, you know. <clears throat> <laughs> she get her calling, right? Praise Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. For her. For her? Yes. It yes. means for her. Then not some mistakes because she get her calling. Me not get my calling yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm listening. Yeah. So I wait for my calling. The lifestyle where I live, right? I go do a little bit. I make a little adjustment to it. You get me? I say? Mm -hmm. Just a little adjustment. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where me and I can work. And feel we live. If you know, we don't know fuss and fighting at the house and quarry that them kind mm -hmm. of things. I go make a little adjustment. Yes. Right? But I still not get my calling. So do you have to get your calling? Yes. I have to get my calling. Just like how she get her calling. Prestige. Right? What you want me to do? Take prestige! Up because she I'm, get calling, calling. I'm calling you prestige. We need more than that. We want the Lord to call us. <laughs> the Lord. We want the calling from the Lord. As what she said. Oh my God. She get the calling from the Lord. Right? But what if, she, what, if, what if it wasn't really so much of a calling, but she felt the urge mm -hmm. to go and transform her life? But she tell me, said she get the calling. Okay, go and ahead. she sir. tell me. Mm -hmm. You get me, I say? I mean, oh, I get my own. It's so oh, now wait for my own. So anytime me get my own, then me and I can end up in a church. That doesn't but, say, because the adjustment we're going to make, 
Right? Uh -huh. Once in a while, I go to church with her. Once, Once in, in a, a while. while? Yes. That can't work. Why can't work? You need to be supportive. You're her spouse. And she's no I will a be Christian. Always, I will be always supportive. Right? I will be always. But that doesn't say... Me have to be more supportive because she get the calling and she have got church and me have to take up myself and go to church with her too. Yes, man. Why? Yes. Oh, you do everything, you else, oh, you do everything else with her at eh? home. Why me I go do that? How you do other things with eh? her at home? Why you can't go to church with her every Sunday? I fake. Or I Saturday. fake within myself. No, I fake with her and I just go follow her. I go to church and I walk with her. I go to church and stuff like that. And me not get the calling. Me need to get the calling too. But can't you get the calling when you're going to church? No. <laughs> I get the calling. Just like how she get the calling. Prestige, yeah. you did not just affirmatively say no, you can't get the calling outside. Mm -mm. I get the calling outside. Uh, you, I mean, you can't get the calling inside. I want it outside. Just like <laughs> she get it outside. That's ridiculous. Yeah. If I call her on the 954, good night, caller. Is that Dan Dan? Hey, Cleo, what's up? Hey, who is this? <laughs> Looks like that. Dan Dan, man. Oh, it? Jesus. <laughs> Hi, Dan yeah, Dan. How are you? <laughs> I am good. So, I want to hear your view tonight. The lady gets a calling. She wants to change her lifestyle and become a Christian. Walk the Christian walk and talk the Christian talk. Are you having a problem to transit with her? Um, all right, here it is now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you see, she gets the calling. <laughs> Jesus. The calling, the calling would be for her. Or if he gets the calling, the calling would, would be for him. Lord, help these men. Would, do, do you agree that so far? I'm listening, sir. Okay. So, <laughs> remember, every, every, everybody is going to be their own individual, no matter what. You know. Yes. All right. So, if you get the calling to, um, to go, to go a, a different direction. Okay, fine. That, that, that ought not to affect. Um, your relationship. It ought it not should, to. It, it, but if nah. it is, if it is, the fact that she has changed now, let us say now, yeah. I'm, I've become a Christian, right? And I'm going to be yeah. going to my church and following certain principles or guidelines that is in the Bible or, you know, based on the Christian teachings and so on. And I choose to follow that way. No, we were yeah. living together before and we weren't married. And the principles yeah. that, and the teachings talk about being unequally yoked and, you know, wanting yeah. to get married. And now I come and I say, boy, Dan, Dan, um, you know, I want to become a Christian. You know, I'm a Christian now. So us living together, you know, it's not going to so and so. We're gonna, I want to get married. And you stick out, lick out, ooh, me, me now married again. So oh, no, that's going to pose a problem. But, but, yeah, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Y you... You've you you mentioned the term common law marriage, right? For example, yes. Yeah, common law marriage is marriage, you know, legit, and that's legitimate marriage, you know. Some will share a different view, Would, sir. Huh? Some will share a, a different view. Many will share that different view. Oh, no, no one. So you got to tell me, say, may, may, may you live together for 15 years? I'm, 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 I'm because we're, we're not going to sit there all our going No, not a, it's not a legal binding agreement. No. Um, <clears throat> does the I law... Sure Jamaica, does I the law sure Jamaica has reached a stage where, where the courts recognize common law. What, yes. What common law the, courts, the courts might do that, but then there are many people... <laughs> Even as Christians, they believe otherwise. Yeah. So what it is that the courts will say, okay, if you are with a woman or a woman is with you, a man, for over a five-year period, then she would mm. be entitled to X, Y, Z, right? Yes, yeah. but there yeah. are people, there are persons who consider themselves Christians who believe that if yeah. you are not if you have not made that vow between man and God and used the ring as a symbol of the union, then you are not yeah. on the right path where the relationship is concerned. Or so, it being, so, so, it being so, acceptable so, so the then. Sticking, so, so the sticking point here is the ring? Is that what so, you're saying? I, I guess the misconception could be that. But despite what, what the focus point is... 
I'm just telling you what it is. The reality is that there are people who believe that if you're not bonded legally before mm. witnesses and the pastor and made these vows before God and man, then you're not legally mm. married. And they All would right. consider that... Now. Yes. Hear me, hear me now. Hear me now. Hear me now, Prestige. Yeah. Me feel say, you know, Yes. Pastors, pastors are responsible <laughs> for broken up with well, a good, 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 good up relationship, you know. How so? Because, because, look here, men are going good for 10, 15 years, all right? And then pa, pa, pastor go, 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 um, um, go and preach, uh, um, you, what you've been doing for the past 10, 15 years, you're living in sin. And then play, and, 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 and the play this, um, this, this, this fear card on you. <laughs> right, and then you, you you start feel guilty, and then and then you know you know because of guilt you feel you know uh, you know you know uh, dirty your husband or your common law husband again, you know, and me not, me not think me not think that's right, that's not right. Okay. Me not think me, me not me not think up me not think up um. But 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 tell like me something, of, if it is that that is the belief of whichever pastor, right? And mm. if that's the church or the teachings that you want to be a part of, as a woman, she chose to be a part of that teaching, or as a man, he chooses to be a part of that teaching, yeah. then it is for you both, you know, to sit down and have a discussion on the matter. Why are you blaming the pastor? Okay, okay. okay. So, 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 no, but... <laughs> But in the first place, normally, usually, at the past, I plant, um, plant, plant a seed of discontent in, 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 in your head in the first place. Yeah, but isn't you know, the, so that? that person ought to have their own decision and choice, be able to make their own choice. If they listen to the pastor and l believe that this is really how it should be or how it ought to go, then you can't be blaming the pastor for that, sir. Look here. The, the pastor preaching is one thing, you know, but uh, but uh, but but, uh, but I'm sure when 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 pastors uh, invite them to come to council or whatever, I uh -huh. I, I, I am sure pa, pa, pastor the situation. Pastor say, well, you, you got to leave him or you know, <laughs> marry pastor him. Said, eh? Leave him or marry him. Yeah, yeah, leave him or or or, 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 or official, or, as you would call it, officialize it or yes, paperize it or whatever or whatever. You know, when things are going good, 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 good already. And then, and, and then, no, when that was broke up, no. It's like, a, it's, 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 it's like you're running the risk of, 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 of ruining the woman life or the man life or one of them life. Mm. Because, you, because you have no planted the seed of this content, you know, in a one person's mind. I hear you, sir. So, so tell me. Yeah. Tell me something. Considering yeah. that kind of lifestyle and the changes that might come with that lifestyle, would yeah, well, you well, well, have? Before you go, before you go to nothing, 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 nothing wasn't wrong with the, with the lifestyle before, you know. So, so, so what, what make it wrong now? Repeat that. Nothing, nothing wasn't wrong with the lifestyle before. That so, may, all, all come out of a sudden, no. That um, may, um, that um, might be, that might be because she wasn't enlightened. If we, we could use that word. <laughs> what if she sees no? What if she thinks that no, I've been enlightened and I believe strongly that what this preacher is preaching, what the Bible outlines, I am convicted by it and I'm going to change mm. my lifestyle. What if that's the way she chooses to go? Who are well, you? Who are you to say that what she now feels, the conviction she now feels, is wrong? Okay, okay. So, so. So now she, she, I, I was saying she, we're not saying that is that is a, a typical woman right. situation where woman, you know, but so, so now she, you know, would have to, to measure how much, how much love 
that she has for this person or for the relationship. Hold on, man. That you can't you can't go to the love part yet. You know, we're up on the ten o'clock break. Love not have nothing to do with it. Don't mix up the love at all. Love is still there. It's now ten o'clock. You can hold on, Dan, or you can call us back after the yeah. break. Yeah. No, man, me, me all. All right. The time is brought to us by VG Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Don't go anywhere. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a bit. You give me a blind, no? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Styles FM. <laughs> Digital T. Our brain. Uh-huh. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Indeed. Welcome back to Real Talk, guys. We are on the Christian path tonight and looking at relationships. And if it is that your partner wants to make that transition to the spiritual walk, right? Will you have a problem transitioning with the partner? Would you be affected? Do you think your lifestyle will be affected? Would the limitations that lie ahead affect you? Right? So here goes the Vox Pop again for tonight. Caught between two worlds, making your relationship work. Your partner is now at the crossroads of spirituality and requires your full understanding. Considering your present lifestyle and the possible limitations that lie ahead, are you ready for this transition your partner is about to make? The other part of this says, would you give up your lifestyle and join your partner on the spiritual journey? Hmm. Part three, should your partner's spiritual calling become burdensome to you? 
would you should it become burdensome to you or on you would you stay in the relationship or start to seek other options we in and we crave your indulgence uh 876-453-1444 and of course 954-338-7973 before the break we were on call with dan dan and then you still there yeah, mama there. good so dan dan was about to tell us that the fact that this woman decides to now change her lifestyle and go the Christian way, which I see nothing wrong with it if she chooses that, mm-hmm. Dan Dan has the audacity to um, insinuate that the love, he's now targeting and ready to trample on the woman's love for the man. How dare you, Dan Dan? Let us hear what you had to say about that. No, all right. What may I say, no? Um one's lifestyle need not be affected by someone in the relationship. Um, let's say enlightenment, then, as you say. Yes. Or learn something new, all right? Mm-hmm. All right? And you know, the third part of the, the preamble you just mentioned, it, and there's, 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 there's absolutely no need to become burdensome if if you start with a lifestyle you now and a change your lifestyle and the man um, remaining in a theme. Um, same way. Why All not? Right. How come? There's going to be a problem. Okay. All right. Hear this now, now. All right. You know the you know you know the you know the, the text in the Bible, John three sixteen, right? Uh huh. For God so loved the world that, that he gave his only begotten that. Son, that whosoever will yeah, be that whoever believe believe in him, him yes. shall not perish. Yes. But have everlasting, but have everlasting life. life. Yes. All right. That 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 the ultimate number. But, 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 but I tell you, say, God is love, you know. Mm-hmm. See, God is, God is not about destruction and anything, you know. Right. As, as some as <laughs> some pastors will have you believe that if you don't if you don't if you don't be a certain way, the wrath of God are going to depend you on. No man, God is love. God God is not about wrath. Mm. You see what I'm So no, so no. If you decide to change a certain way, you know. You should not you you shouldn't adopt that sort of fear in your in your mind or in your heart and mind or and say, Why if if me if the continent go on with prestige and prestige I put a party every five nights a week and them thing that me that that you know you go you go phone up or or, or, or whatever. But but wait, but right? you see because but no no because 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 what you found in prestige before, you know, um as long as prestige now, now violate what, what was formed before. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. Yes. But, but, but we're not... wrong with it. And, but, 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 but pastors come, come drive them fear and anything and say, um, about, about, if, um, you're supposed, you're supposed to be married, you're supposed to tie the knot in, in the sight of yeah, God. Because, before, because yes. guess what? There are persons who will tell yeah. you that the scriptures speak about yeah. unequally yoked and that a man and a woman, what I mean. right, should not what be I mean, unequally I mean. yoked. Tem- what does that mean? Well, from my, under- my understanding, it speaks to the fact that you're both, whether you have one person being Christian, one is not a Christian, or you have, um, I guess, different denominations, like Kevin over there in who, Florida inter- is talking about. Whose interpretation is that? What? Whose interpretation is that? People have that interpretation. Different right. people have you know, that view that if it is that, as hold on, no, hold on, as Kevin said, mm-hmm. how is it gonna go when she gets a call for Sabbath church and he gets a call for yeah. Sunday church? Some yeah. might argue that that is also unequal yoke, okay? So <laughs> they're not on the same quote unquote wavelength or page, mm-hmm. okay? And then you have, so suppose, yes, so suppose. Suppose, suppose me come me come from a family you now of where my family won ten a ten a ten ten supermarket. Eh. Hey. See? And, <laughs> and me love this and me and me love this girl where can't can't even afford afford shoes and me and me and me want to that. Is is that unequally yoked? I don't know what you think it is. Do you think it is unequally yoked? From <laughs> May I ask you? It's a difference in it's a difference in social no. social classes or social um you say, no, no, accomplishment, but, this, 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 but this, is it the same unequally yoked? I think the unequally this, unequally yoked speaks 
um, much about the, the spiritual aspect of things and not so much the materialistic part. Yeah, but again, that seems to me to be an, an interpretation um, that some that someone attached to that that does seem like where that could um, be true. Bible well. That could be true, but it it is the view. It's a real talk. The view of many people. Whether it's there, no, there. Because, because 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 look here, everybody me that 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 I've ever talked to, or been with, or our designs and. Me not look at none of them as being better than one. They're them not them all up on the same level. Right. You know, whether them rich or poor or black or white or Indian, or, they're all up on the same level. Right. And that's all. And, 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 and that's but, all but they're all on the same level that, in that terms of what? Be. Human beings. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. achievement, they're not on the same level, are they? Well... <laughs> Well, which, which is why I have a question about this term, unequal yoke. What, what, what does it mean? Because okay. no, no two people can, can ever be on the same two level. Okay. You know, so, so, <laughs> so, so then we, 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 need, we, need, we need to throw this term, unequal yoke, out of the window. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> some will, you know, because, some uh, have, but because, there are others because, who won't. Because all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you proceed to get it up, and then, to 10 years and then all of a sudden because you go you have under a different thought process when you become an equal you how that work i can't, that, that can't but be if, possible. if if your thought process and lifestyle has changed thought process yeah. changes lifestyle changes um don't you think that you're gonna start both of you will have different views on many things now yeah, the but views that, but, will but change. That, Ultimately, the reaction, that, the behavior. Make, but, but that can make that can now make unequally yoke because it, it, it might. It's, it's maybe like, it shouldn't, but then, then it does. No, dear, no, no, because because, because no society. Our woman, woman, I, I use some term that is, is attaching the tr like a term betterment, like like one person better, better than the other. Then because we got church is better than the person who who, who play at night. I don't think it speaks to better night. than no sir. It doesn't speak to better than. No no no. It does no, not speak the, to the, better no, no, than than than. Term, no man, but the term unequally yoke, um, it it, it cannot is that. No, no, I disagree. You know that's a one. Another thing. Another thing. Another yes. thing. If you, now, now I say this, in the Bible, the Bible says that, in a hundred times in the Bible, the Bible says, fear not, or do not be afraid, or something to that effect. All right? But then now these pastors now come and preach, fear now that if you don't accept the Lord, the Lord and, 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 and if you accept the Lord and you live with somebody who don't accept the Lord, this will mm -hmm. happen to you, to you. That, that, that's all right. You can't, you can't. You know, again, God is love. God is not about fear and wrath. But your your view on what or who or how God is, yeah, is one thing. Another person's yes. view on his 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 expectations and what would upset him or bring his wrath about is a different thing. Yeah. So you are judging the other person, and the other person is also judging you. So who is to determine that your side is incorrect or right, and vice versa? So it's to each well, his own and to each his own interpretation and belief that they want to live by. Okay, so so so, so it's all it's all, it's all come up then to, to 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 what or who you perceive God to be or God character to be. Exactly, because this woman or so, this man who chooses to go the Christian way now and change certain things. Lady saw a very prominent um former dancehall artist changed her life and is now doing gospel yeah. music right and, uh, and um, i'm sure and, her and, her thought process course, her reaction her her songs are all different no her way of life is different so for her to pick up yeah, a partner and, no like prestige I, not going to work and out what? and guess what and guess what yeah ladies are booking i booking for the next two years i mean marion hall are booking for the next two years Yes. <laughs> money, money are coming. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's, an, that's, a, that's a good example. No, it's not. No, you know. I hear you. <laughs> now, I was just speaking about the part of the transition, whether money coming in or not. I'm talking about the change of lifestyle. Mm. That's what I'm really focusing on, really. Yeah. What, what, what's, the change of, what, what, what's the change? I mean, what, I mean, what's her change? What's her change? What's her change? Can't you see no, no, her no, change? Tell me. Tell me. 
Tell me. She 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 still she performs into into the into the middle of the night, doesn't she? Still, which, which she used to do. Oh my God! I can't believe him. No, Dan Dan. Dan Dan. No, the no, way well, Anna, is, when, it's not when, about the when, time when, of when, night when she performs. It's when, not about when, the when, time when, when, of night she performs. It's about what it is that she's doing differently. And how the what she's doing and the how she's doing it now that has all changed. Yeah, my dear, <laughs> life is a stage. Okay. Life is a, all right. Look here, when you go when you when you go church on man, you 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 hear the preach the man by the pulpit come up. And you know, you do this, and when you say, and I'm saying that no, when you talk to man, when you're talking to this person. In a real life, you know, and that's what I'm talking about. Yes. But again, life is a stage. All right, so let me let me share something with you before you go. Um, an yes. unequally yoked team has one stronger ox and one weaker, or taller and one shorter. The weaker or short, hold on a man. The weaker or shorter ox would walk more strongly than the right. taller, stronger one, causing right. the load to be to go around the circles. There are many unequally right. yoked Bible verses. And right. it says, an unbeliever, what the Bible speaks about. So the, I guess it speaks to the unbeliever. So if you believe one thing, like you don't believe in the church thing and you don't believe in, you know, what the, some of the preachings of the Bible or the te teachings of the Bible, um, mm. and this, this lady you're with has now decided that she wants to follow a certain path. Mm. And you are of a different orientation. I guess that makes you both, I don't know, unequally yoked. <laughs> All right. You see the example you give about the accent, about <laughs> one strong and the other, yeah, one tall yes. or whatever. So then, if you go by that example, then that means that if you are six foot six <laughs> and you're and you're a five, a five foot then, five. Then, then get <laughs> off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my God. Full <laughs> <talk. laughs> All right, we invite you to call in. We had a caller coming in earlier. I don't know what happened. It got cut off. Um, the number is four five three one triple four. Um, I was just telling Dan Dan that if oh we got a call coming back. Hey caller, good night. Where are you calling from? Hello. Real, real, real. <laughs> is real to me. Definitely. I love style and it gives me a good vibe. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I'm done, done. I, br bright eye. I'm in your bright eye. I'm in that cry. Yes. Now, yeah. it's not the sky. If you fall in my eye, eye. yes. <laughs> I'm going to go up to the girl, them spy. All right, so sir. I'm going to not tell no lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yes, bright eye. How are you, sir? What am I there? I don't know what I'm on the road. You see me? Yes, keeping it safe. Over there it's raining. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I'm here to tell you, first of all, um, you have some have a bridge in a center, you know, where me, where me make um interview to style, you know what I mean? Yes, that's good. Yeah, and yeah, Tony Brooks and a bridge in a Portland. Yes. Yeah, me lied. See? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they lied. They, they, man, they um, bedridden for about 30 years. Wow. Yeah, half a foot, you know what I mean? 30 years, you understand me? Yeah. Make them money lock into style. Cool. Real time. I don't think I'm loud, in a pool and right now, I listen to me, you understand me? Yes. I hear me now, you have a big up, you send me people, let me know, I have a bridge in a pool, my right there. Yes. I'm Danny. I'm Danny, the upholstery man. Yes. You understand me? You're, 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 any style, for you know, and intruding to style. It really not come off a style. What you saying? Big ups yeah, to the upholstery man. man. Yeah, Danny. Danny. Yeah, man, for the one way in a port man, I'm on the roster, them two, the, hey, you see, for them radio, they have, they have a big old box, you know, man, when they, when they, when they, when they play at night time. Mm -hmm. Turn up, load, style. Everybody up on. Shut. Yeah, style, load. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a Danny, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Pick up yourself, Danny, every time. Every time. Hey, you see, fear topic where you're the pan. Mm -hmm. You don't say that you're going to be bright side, you know that. Why, Mick? Eh? Why? 
All right, you know, say bright eyes are youth, is an unruly youth. I know that. When a woman can't fix. Can't fix? No. Okay. You understand me? Yes. Because me now go, me now go, please she and displease myself. Okay. But you love her, don't you? Me love you don't love her to try and please her, make her happy and comfortable. Yeah, me make her comfortable by putting her a washing machine, putting her stove in the house, <laughs> give her a nice room. Yes. You understand me? But that yes. does not please the soul. She you wants to become what? a Christian. All right. You see, if she wants to become a Christian. Yes. I don't have any problem with she come a Christian, you know. Mm -hmm. But you see, my likeness, for me, that you love God, you look at go-go club. Mm -hmm. Me, that you, me, like, me look at threesome. Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Me not go jack them there. I will. Me not go jack them there. Hmm. So, you see, if she, I will turn Christian. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm me, she want me turn over. Yes. To where she want me to be. Right. In other words. So you're going to leave her? Instant. If she can, if she, if she can work with that. If she want, if she want baptize, I'm not going to stop her. Mm -hmm. But she's not going to tell me something if you come for her way. But how do you plan? How do you plan on assisting her in her walk? How can you help to assist her in her walk as a Christian if you're not going to join her in certain things? What I know? Mm -hmm. So I come to church, me go with her, you know. Mm -hmm. But when me I go, go, I go at my club, you know, they go want to come. And she <laughs> go want to come. <laughs> Bright eye. Bright eye. She's not going to come because she's going to say, um, yes. the way how I used to talk, I don't talk that way anymore. Right. And the, the things I used to do, walk. I don't do them anymore. And the places I used to go, I don't go there anymore. I don't go them anymore. Right. You understand me? She good? She's going to tell me that. She's going to say, once I was blind, but now I can see. <laughs> Well, I praise the Lord for what she has have, have done for me. Yes. And nothing is wrong with that. All right, good. So, as I say, nothing wrong with where she want to be, want to turn our life to the Lord. So, so, so. I'm not, I'm not going to stop her. So, Bright Eye, this yeah. woman showers you with all kind of love. She gives you all the comfort that you want. You're happy with her. And you're yeah. telling me that because she wants to become a Christian, you are willing to give it all up and go find somebody else because you know not depend on the Christian walk thing with her. That's what you're telling me. In a nice, comfortable house. Have Kiara drive up and down with other girls in the car. Eh? What are you not supposed yeah, to do? Man. Are you going to leave her because she turned Christian? No, I'm not going to leave her, you know. But never load late my rules if she can't work with that. What are you going to do if she can't work with it? If she can't want me to drop my, 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 drop my club, drop my strip club, I'm not gambling, you know. I'm not smoking, I'm not drink. Yes. But I have, have a little thing where it's a comfort to me. Mm -hmm. And those are what I said earlier on. Right, right. So I'm not going to please you and displease myself. Because you know, I'm going to please you and I'm going to be uncomfortable. So the relationship is not going to work. Okay. All right, sir. Hear you. It's not going to work. All right, Dad. All right. I keep calling him Dan, Dad. Bright eye. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, man. So, as I say, bless up yourself. Bless up Danny. Up on Sherman. Yes. Bless up Lloyd on Portland there. All right. And Big up yourself, Lloydy. Yeah, so take care of yourself. Um, press it. We are going with bright eye. Wait a, one man, wait a quiet man. May I listen to your man? 
You cool? Your reasoning, your reasoning sounds so interesting. May I listen to it? I agree so with you. I agree with you. I know I agree with you. So interesting. Yeah, man. Saying so. Make up yourself with a prestige. Every e- time. Every time. Every time. Love your vibes and the energy. You see me? Aye. <laughs> All right, bright guy. Yeah. Press up the hotel. Oh, boy. Bright guy. Yeah, yeah, say yeah, me yeah. love him him. You know the point. Club and all these yeah. things. You know the point. More uh, get back to. Mm-hmm. You was my sister. Mm-hmm. I'm here to right? accept Panya now. You was my sister. <laughs> and may I, may I refer may I refer back to. Oh, that thought. We got another call. Oh, we call got cut off. May I refer back to the text with Kevin. Yes. Right. And you are going to say. A Sunday church. Right. And I'm going to a Saturday church. Uh huh. Would that be a problem in your relationship between us? It would be dependent on both people. Is it that it, we have a call? Hold a thought. Hello, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Hi, good night. Yes, good sir. Night. What's, what's going I'm on? A beer. Uh, I'm here in life. <laughs> oh, you do? Um, good enough, because it's you know, I can't have a bed today to listen. That's nice. All right. I work today, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, uh, interesting topic you have tonight. But the answer is easy, man. Yes, let's hear Very it. Easy. Very easy answer. Because the two things, well, it just boils down to only two things, you know. Mm. But answer. Two only things. What's that? Status and, and, and sex. Status and? Yeah, yeah, and sex. Oh, explain. Meaning that they, 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 they go into the church, uh, the, the person that's going to change his life. Yes. The only thing it wants is that they mar- it's just a marital status to have the authority, uh, just the marital status and the, and the sex, just to authorize the sex in a marital. Oh. Because, because the religion doesn't make no difference. Okay. Because, because the man could have well been a Rasta who worships philosophy and the woman is a church of God. Besides to go to church of God. So the woman now go go, go say she worships philosophy. But once they married, the sex legal the person has no problem with that because what they did call about sex they fornication. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um adultery. once they have sex out of marriage it's it's fornication and adultery. Mm-hmm. Right? So once they got the status of married, when you go to the same church, you can first class go seven day church and when I go Sunday church. Mm-hmm. And, and when I go um friends and when I go church of God are Catholic. Yes. Because and the whole would have be a believer. Mm-hmm. Right or wrong. I hear you, yes. Yeah, then I believe in a, in a whatever God you know, when I'm go friends church. Seventh day church, it's only that the denomination is different. Right. So, so once they authorize, I, I like that with the with the marriage, everything clear. They, 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 it shouldn't be no different whether one wealthy or no wealthy. But what if the other person doesn't feel like getting married? What if the woman doesn't who not want to become married after him turn him him go to church and turn deacon and whatever him want married now? What if she doesn't want to get married? But, they can do have sex, so there's nothing would change because the <laughs> the money would have to go finance the whole same way. Cause children might be involved, children have to go to school, so the family shouldn't break up. I just see marriage at arise. Okay, and I hear you, sir. Talk, I, I, I talking to uh, somebody like me. I, I get a call and convert to do never the married and wife decide to turn Christian. Yes. Even though she never decides to go to the same church, we never decide to go to that church where she go with her. But we were married and that never break no marriage because of the... Okay. Because of, uh, because of that. She just authorized with the status that she had uh, because in terms of going to church. Right. Was but a Christian or no Christian. Yes. You, you are the wife of Christian or no Christian. Once you're married, then I go to church. You're you good. No, no fornication or, or adultery. Right. It's just the wife they are keep. Okay, so, sir. I don't think there should be any any problem. Okay. With, 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 with whatever denomination, whether the Sabbath or Catholic or anything, I do have a witness once you're married. 
So that's your sign it all. If if you're gonna break up because the church, it must be something otherwise because personal sex, everybody has sex. <laughs> and the only sex I have a problem with. Ah uh, Jesus. What's your name uh, again, Carla? Eh? Remember your name, please. Me? Dennis. Dennis. Uh, security. Uh, <laughs> all right, sir. You always have some very interesting views. Thank no, you for no, calling no. and for sharing. Yeah, man. You look at it. Look at it. If you see any other problem away from. I, I, I see your point quite clearly, sir. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right. You yes. too. Please speak up yourself. Yeah, every time. <laughs> well, he has a point there, you know. He mm -hmm. speaks to. Mm -hmm. You see, the status this is, of wanting to just be able to be able to co you mm. know um sexually engage. Yeah. And so, the same thing that me don't get to a while ago. <laughs> me talk about. You get me? In cover it just now. Hold on though. We it's now ten thirty. Time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And the show is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Get your Saturday morning start to the right way. It's all about the jump start with Chungi, the Chinaman on your radio from six a.m. to nine a.m. It's all about vibes from the start to the finish. We're boring a go that get diminished. So whether you're home, on the road, on a bus, or drive taxi, then come listen to Jump Start on Stars FM. We cover the globe like oxygen. Jump Start Saturdays six to nine a.m. That's at the time. Anything else me leave out? Cho, never mind. For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, native audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences, and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native Audio. We make your events audible. 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 Saturdays will never be the same again. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Get the showdown. Social commentary. Tune, no, tune. No, 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 between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shock up to the plane. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at StylesFM961. Become a fan on Facebook, StylesFM96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk. We're talking about the Christian realm and the choices that people in relationships will make and how it is that that lifestyle change 
can affect you or if it will affect you and do you plan do you see yourself working with your partner moving along with your partner to ensure that they have a smooth transition would you give up your lifestyle and join your partner on the spiritual journey your lifestyle kind of shaky kind of so pretty we have a caller on the nine five well on the four five three good night caller welcome to real talk and you know, Sam asked you last week. Oh, yes, yeah, Sam, yeah. boy. Clear, sick out last week. Bad, bad, bad. Sick out. Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> this is Donald, you know? Yeah, I know. I know, Donald. I know the voice by this. How are you, sir? You look crusty, Sam, I'm the boss, you know, man. Okay. So, that I, I know Dan on my mind because yeah. I haven't heard from him in a very long time. Um, uh, but the, um, he's got a big one, you know? I, I tell you. I, I know. I like the topic tonight. Eh? I like it, but I, 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 thank you. Up. And I, 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 I want to hear your view because I'm sure it's an, it's going to be a very interesting one. Now, but the thing is, all right, spirituality. I'm first you know to me born in a church. Praise Jesus. Yeah, so I'm a box slider. Oh, me too. Uh -huh. Go on United to Pentecostal Church, 36 Summer Stone Road. Oh, oh, all right, sir. Oh, Go on, ahead. Our church, then. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Preach to them, preach to them, Mr. Thompson. Preach to them. And one thing I try to do, <laughs> uh -huh. all of the baby mothers, all of them come at Pentecost. Are you carrying them? Yeah, I'm going carry the whole of them. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. But here's the thing now. Mm -hmm. Spirituality and the whole aspect of relationship. Yes. Remember God make us to one purpose, you know? Yes. And that purpose was to serve him. Right. Now because I've seen, you know, man go different, different ways and all of them things. Yeah? Right. But if you take up a woman and she decides that she wants to turn Christian. You as the man supposed to love that enough, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, man, because the minute she give her life to God, and the minute she start love God and love God in the right and proper way. Yes. All of your love are pour over for you. Oh. Uh -oh. It no means to no, know because <laughs> she love God. But she have to try her best though to see how best she can get you to start love God too. Mm-hmm. And she's going to try her best to see if she can twist you to come at church. And she shouldn't have a twist too hard. Right. If you love your girl and you, know, you want to make sure the relationship lasts. So yes. You understand? You have to take up the, the whole spirituality thing too. You see? And you're not going to play the hypocrite with it either. You just have to fully take up the father. Mm -hmm. So there is no, even if you love the sex, you know, and even if you, you, you know, like the sex that much, and even if you can't manage the sex that much. The minute you fall in love with God, everything works in your relationship, man. So, so what? So what happened? If, so what happened if, it, if it's not my denomination that I mean, I decide yes. if we convert over in a fear denomination. Listen, yes, man. Mm. The world we live in right now, yeah, have maybe about five hundred different denominations that call on to the one God. Yes. If she want to turn, if me a Pentecostal and she want to turn seven day Adventist, I feel I hear that. All right. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, you know, me and me, I go turn seven day Adventist, you know, you know, man. Yeah. I mean, I go try, hey, you know, me hear an interesting conversation this evening with the angel. Yeah. And yes. That liar gentleman, Brian Yeah, that's, it, that's Nicholas. And I didn't really want to be participating at all. Because you see this thing I was to talk about, man married woman and woman and woman, I go, and... What we noticed about the conversation was it's all about men. The man I go rape, and the man I go this, and the man I go that, and the man. So I'm the woman, them not do them thing that all. <laughs> eh? The woman, them not, the woman, them not twist the relationship to and go on with them who will pay that thing. But one of the biggest things I did want to tell Angel this evening is that the laws of the country is set up so homosexuality can be seen as a part of. Can nobody not tell about the man who are, are homosexual and, and the laws that is set up against him and all of them things. They might tell about the laws that are set up against the man who are straight, the man who are taking up his wife, the man who are, who are trying to do this with his wife and all of them things. Mm -hmm. And once you marry the woman and them things, that are just happiness, you know. Your abuse shouldn't even go on. And let me say, I want them to have uptown to the prestige. Um, 
some domestic the, violence thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, stop violence against women, women. coalition group. Yeah, mm. but you know, women alone violence against violence against men too. We're not yeah, saying no, but I think that they're speaking to the predominance of the viol violence against women and the, the, the so number of cases, you increasing cases. You question, Cleo. Beautiful lady, Cleo. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Man and woman are equal. Are we? Yeah, man. In your eyes, we are. You know how I many men out there believe that we're not? We're equal, 100%. And I have we always... I have always said, I have always said it, and I've found a man tonight who shares my view. I've always said that we are on equal ground, and men will dispute that and think that they are the stronger, wiser being, and they are the only ones who have great ideas, and that the average woman should be staying in the back and following behind them. Remember, all of the men didn't come from the woman. No man can come from the man. So uh, who are the stronger ones? <laughs> the most low man who hold the pitney in her for nine months. <laughs> and then have the strength to push out that pitney. And no C-section now. Have the strength to push that out. Then she's the most stronger than the man. Oh, boy. Eh? You ever look for no man who have seven pitney at a university, but you work $7,500 a week? Oh, boy. And five of the people, them father, and I take care of them. Who's stronger? Mm. You understand? So, mm. man and woman equal. So, if you're going to a relationship, mm -hmm. and the woman have united Pentecostal, and the man has seven day Adventist, mm. both of them go and worship them God enough for them way. And hold them can and just hold and love them God and take care of them relationship. Yes. Work. Mm. You see, man? Real talk. Prestige. Yeah. Pick up yourself, man. Every Real time. talk. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> Keep it locked. Very interesting yeah. view there. Let's see what the text line is saying mm -hmm. here, Cassidy. Very interesting view, yeah. isn't it? It's just yeah. like if she get the call in. Yeah. I mean, I get it. And you still at the door and she, is, she can go on. Right. And we are living <laughs> like seeing here. <laughs> oh, Lord. Comfortable and all right. Kevin in Tampa, yeah. Florida. Let's see what Kevin is saying. I can sure if a man gets called to go to church, the woman will easily come. But man find it difficult to change their life for a woman. Some men would, some men aren't doing it. Mm. Let's see what Sadie says. Is the married and the adultery is the problem in church? Women always outnumber the men. All right, we go back to the text line. We have a call on the 954. Good night, caller. Welcome. Good night, How are you doing? I'm not bad, Marvin. What's up? So, um, this topic is kind of a, a touchy topic, right? Yes, I, I know. I have, to, I have to give it to Donald for what he just said. Because if, if, you, if a man and a woman live together and the female decide that she wants to give her life to God or whatever the case may be, that's a good thing. You see what I'm saying? Yes. You rather your wife give a, you rather you rather your people give the life to God, or you rather them go out there go cheat on you and do all, all these other men of evil. Are you saying that women who I give mean, their lives to God have never cheated? No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, I, in your case, right? Would you rather your husband give him life to God, or rather go out there and cheat and party and all this kind of thing? I would rather him not go out there and cheat and give his life to God. Yes. All right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so in my case, you know, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist, and yes, my my wife she go to church. Yes, sometimes she go to my church, sometimes I go to her church on Sunday. But I'm not gonna condemn her and say, "Oh, you have to come at my church or whatever." That's something we have to pray about and let God do His thing and say, "Okay, if the two is supposed to go to the same church, so be it." So, you understand? So when you have, and, I don't. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. When you have, say, Bible studies and the teachings of the Bible that different denominations highlight, how do you then relate to each other in, on that level? Or you don't go to that um, level? She, she, well, she's very open to stuff. So you see what I'm telling her, stuff that, that I believe in and she may interpret it different or whatever. Mm. We, you know, we, 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 we talk about it and... You know what I mean? We may involve somebody else who is much more experienced on that topic 
And, right. You know what I mean? Get the help we need. But we're not going to argue on all of that kind of stuff. Right. You know what I mean? We discuss the thing like two regular people and come to understand it. Okay. As, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, put, if Farfina, if, in my case, for my wife, person, okay, she want to be a Christian and whatever, not, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't knock her. Mm-hmm. And if she come to me and say to me, say, Baby, you know, you don't want to go throw anymore and more to slow down and drinking or whatever. That's something, if, if I value my relationship and me respect her, that's something me have to look into and say, yo, you know, so my wife want me to change and to see if I'm in a relationship and I run away. I have to go make a sacrifice, keep the change and lose the relationship. Mm-hmm. And, the and keep the relationship. And in a case like that, I know the change is not going to be for the worse, it's going to be for the better. Mm-hmm. And then, as everybody knows, if God's not in the middle of your relationship, it's not going to work, period. No matter yep. how you try, it's not going to work. Real talk. So no matter how you force, no matter how you force the person to love you, no matter how you wash, cook, clean, and all of this kind of stuff, if God is not in the middle of this, it's not going to work, period. Real talk. Real talk. So, what about you, Prestige? What would you, would, would you change your with if me get the call in. <laughs> that's his speech from yeah. night. If he if, gets the if, call if in. If get the call in, that's not a problem. But if I don't get the call in, me yeah, don't want but, you to argue with me and a fuss and fight with me. Because no, the relationship was all right and nice and dandy until she says she get the call in because of what the pastor said last week at church. But guess what though? Yeah. When she get her call in, mm. that, may, that may be a little shaking up to you on your end. Uh-huh. You understand? So that maybe I just look a shake up for you and you check that check it your life and say, yo, I'm a exactly. Yeah, but I can try to live right and you not, yeah, not can, you must change and jump in a church right then and there, you know. Yes. But that working course and next thing you know, I yeah. you're just a man. Me can you know drop. What me can do, Marvin? Me can drop off mm. a few things, like if me used to go mm. go drink and go to a club, mm. me drop it off. Really? Me not have to go to church mm. for live a righteous life. Yeah, me not have to go to church for my relationship, all right? But if she not feel comfortable I, with me going out there and drink and going out there to party, and me decide, say, well, but we stay home then. You get me, I say? But me not have to follow behind mm. and, and, and I go with her to church for my relationship, all right, yeah, and yeah. for we live a, 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 a righteous life. Yeah, that's true. But you also know once that wife start praying for you, and God take him court. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, that's a whole different story. You know, yeah, that's a whole different story. Then he's calling. Maybe, maybe her, then he's calling maybe will maybe come. Maybe her denomination is not my denomination. Because, because you may find yourself letting go think, things and not even realizing that, yo. Hey, yeah. you let them go. Exactly. What? Why, why? Slow me down, me down, slow down till you stop. You know, me not. not even realize it. Yeah, yeah. But you know, one thing when me always ask, why we have to go to church? Go sit down in a church. Listen to this man I pray to we. Or I preach to we. Right? Why we have to do that? Why we cannot stay home and just read the one Bible? Same? The same because Bible when you come together and you are united, eh? the force is greater. Me can unite with my family home. Oh, Jesus. Me can unite with my family home. Why me have to take up myself and go underneath them congregation? And me can have my own little congregation after my house. With my family. And read the same Bible. Where them I preach out yeah, and that's true not pressing. But what I say is once that wife start praying God start taking court. Stuff like that, you're not gonna go look for stuff like that in the morning. You just go find yourself go on a church Sunday or whatever. This Sunday, church thing, this is what more I feel know. Mo- no, this is if, what if you're gonna pressure you and say, Yo, yeah. come to God church, come to God church, that's a different yeah. story. You yeah. may say, Yo, precious, you you feel like going to church today? Mm. Either yes or no. My church, no, Marvin. No deal. Marvin. Marvin. Yeah. I'm saying to you, my church, mm. right, can be at home. It's not the mm. best place to have it. You can't tell me. It's just a building. No, it's not. It's a building. Where two or three are gathered, you need to have the. They're no more than two. Have the, <laughs> to my family are six. You need to have the. Union. Have 30, 40 people in the church and, and feed amongst them. You no. You need to come together as a united force where the force is stronger. The presence of the Lord is stronger there. Listen to me. 
the Lord work in mysterious way. Any way you want to work for you, exactly. work for you. No care exactly. if I one person, two person, three or fifty. You get me? And if me, if me, they are my house, and that is my temple, my congregation right there. I mean, I have to go and I need for them congregation. No, your, your kitchen. Yeah. I mean, I have to go and I need for them thing, <laughs> right? I feel them church. I mean, just have my thing right there. Me read the same Bible with my read as where them want to say, or where them say. But and how do you share same. and hear from the other members of the church? Where is that unison where you interact? Them and not, worship together. Listen to me. As listen in to one me. May I do it with my family. Me can I do it with my family. You see no family? May I do it with my family? Why may I have to take from my family and, and go with five <laughs> party fifty people? There? <laughs> I'm pushing your buttons tonight. Eh? You tell me. <laughs> why may I have to take my family and go with five fifty, sixty people there go sit down? Just to hear the, that man up there standing up there preaching to me and telling me and tell my family. All kind of things I want to tell him. And me can stay right at home. Right? Open the same Bible. You get me, I say? I'm preaching the word of the Lord I with my family. Brother? I'm me, all right. But, Claire. Yes, sir. You, you realize with both you, Prestige, and Daddy Road, we're on a stubborn in our <laughs> own way. Tell us, sir, what? <laughs> The trio on the stubborn in our own way. <laughs> <laughs> it's them rub off on me. Like Prestige and Daddy Road. Mm. Especially Daddy Road, him. He said, You can't tell Daddy Road that this guy is a blue. You must go, then I'm going to look and I'm going to Yes, the can I? They are the ones who <laughs> cause me to be like that. Same thing with Prestige. If one just says something, that's it. <laughs> but. <laughs> Well, I forgot to make questions, wife. Um, pray for him, though, so he can go to church. Yes. I'm going to ask her to pray that the Lord calls him because but, unless but, he gets the calling, he's not moving. Marvin, Marvin, we are talking about. Then, Listen up, man. Listen up. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah, you hear me? Yeah. Me can't get my calling, you know. And my calling is not mm. the calling that I supposed to go to church every Sunday. Mm. What could be your calling? Right. To go and cook for the church? My calling can be the Lord call me. To cook for the and church. And if he does obey, right? He's teaching right now. And, and me do all of them things there. Home with my family. Which family? Talk about yeah. family, family, with family. With family. Yeah. The eight away. And we're there home. When I feel there is about 50 or 60 people there. All right. No. I hear you. I hear oh, you. Okay. May I praise him right there. I may feel comfortable right there. All right, Marvin. Thank you so much. May I right. mix and mingle with the world. Okay. Appreciate it. Anybody Great. out there? Anybody out there against me with that? I mean, no, see a lot of people out there now say prestige, right? You know. Because some of the time we go in our church, we slung beside us, some of them people in our church and they can't even if it's slung beside them too. Oh Jesus. Trust me. 892 says, uh, let's see what she's saying. Um Real talk, the show. Pre press, press sounds like Saul, who became Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, oh Jesus, um, eight nine two. We haven't left you out, darling. Don't worry, we see you. If you see what some of them pastor you yeah, do, and then criticize, oh boy. You see it? But you know what? Let's not be like them. Let's do the things that we know we are supposed to do. What do you mean we are supposed to do when them not do the right thing and them turn up you, in front you of you? You can't stand and judge them. Every man has to give his own account. Eh? But we don't want to talk about me, so we have food for the song in front of them. Hold and on. Them say, them yeah, we have a texter here, first time texter. Yeah. Send us your name, sir, so we can know who it is, 406. Prestige, I agree with you 100%. You don't need to go to any building to be in church. No. Your heart is a temple of God. Yeah. Okay, sir. I'm not joke. I really thought that. All right. Yeah. Taz, my step bro, if we can pray in your toilet, we can stay home. <laughs> Let's see what he's saying. Yeah. Um. Okay, happy birthday, to birthday to LJ and mother. All right, big bad Taz, they are still. Pick up yourself, um, DJ Taz, or Saint Mary, or All right, and of course we do have a caller on the four five three. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. I don't know again, man. Yes, Donald. Prestige. Yes, sir. I tell you, I'm a friend for life with that man. Mm. I agree with you, man, 100%. Yeah. 
Africa, you know. I mean, just turn up that text Oh, it's you. Oh, it's oh, your name not come up. Your name didn't come up. I was wondering. Yeah, the digital number. That. Okay. But, uh-huh. but basically, you don't have to go in a building, a building for your worship God. No, sir. You worship God in your house. Yeah. You worship God with your family. You can't turn your family in your church, you know. <laughs> you can't turn the living room in your church. Yeah. And yeah, you put them go down and want to take the clear Bible because most of the Bible there uh, is right by them man the from out of England. We can't yes. we as black people. You understand? <laughs> yes. But yeah, but me call it the slave Bible. Okay. Then, but basically you can worship you can worship God. I worship God in my house every day. I'm live alone. Every day. Every day. I pray, I me, me ask him to guide me, I ask him to do everything. I you know me depend on all this, so you just make a prayer, you know, man. Yes. I don't know when you're going to drop off it, you know. Yes. I have oh. a soul for God to write, play. Yes. You understand? But you don't have to go in a church, man. Me can see a woman preempt the church service. Oh, Jesus. You're going to walk with a prayer. Then you're going to sing one song. <laughs> then you're going you to read one, one scripture verse. Then all your awful. I you can't tell the whole church service before we even go there. You understand? And then like first you say, go sit down because I can't eat for Christian man. You can't hear them in that church all the time. They want to know who for hat that look good and uh, who for shoes get to it up on them foot. Hey, you ever go to church yet and the rain a fall? No. And when you look, five, ten people drive and fifty people in our church. And the 10 people drive out, left the next party when I drive. <laughs> and and gone after them, yeah, and the business if the next party I'll, can walk home or wait up and all of them. They can't call that church. And two of them, we all I drive out and then nearby to. And two and of them, they the right road. side of your toe. Yeah. Oh, boy. You understand? And them alone, yeah, and them vehicle. Oh, boy. That's a preferable thing they wouldn't teach you about church. Never yeah. right. Yeah. Brainwash yeah, business. You understand? Never right. Trust me. Because church, your body is the temple of God. And where two or three meet, the two or three are going to meet up in your living room, can meet up on your veranda, can meet up on your gate, and worship God. You understand? Real talk. Real talk. All Real right, talk. Donald. Thank you so much. We love the input of our listeners tonight. They are sharing. Yes. All right, so we've heard from um, Donald De Reno, a.k.a. Bulla Man, is sending a message. Let's see um, what that says. Um, okay, all right. Um, we go to some of the Vox Pop or the Vox Pop to hear what peeps on the street, uh, what their views are on the topic. If me genuinely love my man, I need desire to go on a spiritual walkway. It should be no option for me to decide to go on the journey with him. And if I'm a spirit, I'm a spiritual person, I might hope he don't decide to go that way. That's up to him. I'll me have to do prayer. I not go walk away from the relationship because people not change. People not change right away. A lot of a lot of women married to men that are not Christians. But why we are gonna do? You can't. You can't help that. If it, it's your life and your decision, it's up. <clears throat> me not go make because of my religion. Me walk away from my relationship. And me not go make because my partner decide. They say, okay, this is his lifestyle. Me go walk away from him. You look how many times you see two people married, one an Adventist and one a Sunday worshiper. So we shouldn't make that be a problem. That's not supposed to come between your relationship. That means you will never genuinely for the person. If As long as you're genuine for the person, there should be no conflict and no problem. That's what it's supposed to be. But in a real life right now, relationship no, no have no tolerance in the people, no value relationship no more. You know, see the value on a relationship like before. It's just like... Just like people say a digital phone call. For me, as I see it, people don't value you, what you believe in. This are one, another one no value where the next one believe in. And that's why we have so much problem. Me not understand. I can't understand <laughs> these relationships these days. But 
to each is his own. For me, it's different. Me not make because I'm a pastor. My partner decide we we go to church. Me I go walk away from him. No, I mean I go make because I'm decided to go to church. My partner go walk away. No, me not go put the church before my relationship either. Me go no say okay. Me have my husband or me have whatever me have. But by right, it's supposed to be my husband. For I decide to go to church, so it's gonna be my husband. So and and I like say okay. If me live in this life, like okay, me no me are not a Christian. I me have me man. Me I go just get up and walk with well, him because me decide to go to church. No, me I go talk it out, out and say okay. Me make another step to life. So guess what? We going to have to do it the right way where we become husband and wife no if we know if we not get married that's what it is real talk my partner's spiritual journey is his spiritual journey of course i'll support it and respect it but until i go on my spiritual journey he's on his if him have a problem with the situation as is fine then we'll separate I don't see why his spiritual journey should be a burden to me i wouldn't burden him with my spiritual journey i'll give him a choice Back to real talk. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm hearing some views mm. that speaks to, okay, so it's his journey. And you are like, it's her journey. Mm. And if it is that she wants to follow the spiritual walk, then that's mm. her calling, not mine. Mm. And until I get mine, I won't leave. And, yeah. you know, and mm. persons are expressing the sentiments that mm. I support my partner. Mm -hmm. But how... What do you call supporting the partner? Because if you're going to support the partner, then it's suggesting to me that if he invites you to church, to his church or her mm -hmm. church, yeah. then you'd go. Mm -hmm. And if she's invite in, in, encouraging you to stop doing certain practices that, you know, might not, or certain, living a certain lifestyle that might not be, um, quote unquote, wholesome, yeah. then you will be supporting her by complying. Yeah. How do you support? It's not like somebody's going to go and do a speech or a presentation or a display and you're there to help assist them to set up the place. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. It's a walk that they're now doing, a different lifestyle, a lifestyle change. Yeah. So you're supporting them. It's not just by being there physically. The support comes in the things that you do or you act and, and, and how you're going to relate to the person. Yeah. So I don't get what kind of support you're going to give if you're not going to be following the person in the spirit, along the spiritual walk. What kind of support you're going to give? They take, don't need moral support like that to be, to be a Christian. Take her to church because her church, it's about six miles and she can't walk. And she never used to go to church before. So she's usually a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're going to help her by, by, by cooking dinner when she's not church. there? Cook dinner, take Wash her to church, them. take her to church, pick her up from church. You get me? And if she said, just to make the relationship work, you know. Mm -hmm. You're going to cook am, and wash sometimes too? Sure, that's not a problem. There's something I go on all the time. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying, if she said to me, say, Louis, I would like you to change that lifestyle we have by, you know, out there drinking. You know me, I say, oh, the break. It didn't break. Okay. Oh, my Go goodness. Go ahead and do that break. The time is brought yeah. to us by VJ Printing Services, mm. and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. It's now 11 or 3. We soon come back. Yeah. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show? A gospel concert? Or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you 
you want to take your life to the next level, learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518 518- Two, three, nine, nine. Did you know that dengue, chikungunya, and Zika are transmitted by mosquitoes? This is why it is so important to get rid of tires, bottles, and other containers with stagnant water and keep barrels covered. Eliminating stagnant water is everyone's responsibility. Protect yourself and your family. A message from the USAID, PSI Caribbean, CARFA, and the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to the show. We go on till 12 and we do have more exciting discussion about this interesting Vox Pop for you. Sorry. Our, um, we, we, we go back to the Vox Pop because we have another part of it to look at, um, Cassidy. Um, very interesting point we were discussing off air, and we're going to share some very of it so. on air with you listeners. Um, would you give up your lifestyle and join your partner on a spiritual journey? Now, there are people who say, no, 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 no. I'm not giving up what I used to do. You heard from Bright Eye. What I used to do before, the things I love, I'm not giving it up. And, you know, and I'm thinking that changing a lifestyle would suggest that there are some things that a person who decides to become a Christian would no longer do. Yeah. And one of those such things is, as you said, you're living with a partner and things are okay yeah. for 10, 15 years. You're going good and things are right. No problems, you know, that we can overcome. And we have a good thing going. And all of a sudden, no, you decide to change your lifestyle and become Christian. And then the sexual pleasures I used to get before just stop. Are you going to be helping her are you going to be supporting her journey by saying okay she no longer wants to do x so that's fine i can work with her because i understand that no she you know doesn't believe in doing this anymore she she has a change of heart a change of mind so i'll be supportive is that what your support entails or would you say to yourself no 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 uh-uh this you used to do. Why you stop doing it? Because you turn Christian now. No, it can't work. Well, okay. If she said to me, say, to turn Christian, and we can't do anything She doesn't do feel like comfortable that. doing certain right. things anymore. Well, no problem. Certain sexual things. Wait, wait. No problem. I will. Right? To make my relationship run good mm-hmm. and smooth, propose to her. Married to her. Okay. Right? For we do what we are the right so you're saying you would only marry to her because you want then may I go part of the way with her I'm mean, not going in a relation in a, in a religion I'm oh, not okay. in a religion I know that made a pan more on the relationship run I run good so between so, me and her yes yeah, so what I want to because, find out because it's a go rocky if me not married to her it's a go rocky you know why it's a go rocky the, the sexual part of it's not going to make it rocky because you cannot in a relationship and not, not go on and because she took up some religion business and now and I cut me off for my little sex. <laughs> it not gonna work. <laughs> so the relationship is rocky. So we want the relationship run good. Yeah, she so. become Christian. We say, okay, we are married. Me not have a giant for your relationship. I'm um, religion, I should say. Uh-huh. I don't have to. So you know, legally, quote unquote, legally bonded to 
I'm, on I'm her wife, part then. I'm on wife, her I'm part now, right? So, right? So, my sex have to go on. So, 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 so now that you're married to her, yeah. or even before you got married, yeah. and you realize that, but you know what? The, 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 the ultimate yeah. thing I'm going to do is marry this woman because I love her. Yes. And I want my relationship to work. Right. So, and not she's, because of her religion. Right, but because she's in her church and she has certain I'm principles. Not her religion. And you want to support her, yes. you're going to marry her right. so that the sexual part of it, she, she'll be more comfortable. Right. But then she believes that even though she's not married, she still does not want to do certain things. She like to do. what? Certain aspect of the sexual encounter. Well, listen, we're going to divorce back then. We're going to divorce. We're going to divorce. We're going to divorce. Relationship done. No, you sound like when the man said, lock it back, lock back the phone. We're going to divorce. No. No. I'm going to part with her. I don't want to join her religion. I'm not ready. I'm not get the car. Whatever happened to respecting... Hold on, man. Hold on, man. keep the relationship going. It sounds selfish on your part. Look what I do for her. For her? Yes. Okay, so let me get this straight. So because you went ahead and marry her, yes. you're saying she used to now throw out every view that she ever had of what it is that she has a conviction on? Come on. She has a conviction now that she does not want to turn in that position anymore. She wants to maintain a missionary position from, from now on. She's only going to be giving my husband she's only going to be giving her husband a missionary position. Why on earth do you think that? Because you gave her a ring as a bond to signify the bond between you, and because she's a Christian now and she wants to be in her church, you're doing her a favor so getting to married this. to her. So she no this. longer wants to go on her head. So listen to this. Listen to this. Why can't you respect that but view? Li- but listen to this too. Mm-hmm. Listen to this. Right? Listen to this. Because she become a Christian. Yes. Right? Louis supposed to become a Christian too? But I'm asking you. Possibly. Eh? She might want that. But if you don't choose to become a Christian, yes. whatever happens to... And I to want my relationship to run smooth, same way. Yeah, but if you do, why not say, okay, Mama Sita, don't worry about no head top. Just let us do a missionary then. Isn't that your way of also meeting her halfway to make it work? Huh? Listen to this now. Uh-huh. If the sex is going to be a problem in the relationship, Right? And even when we married, it is still a problem in our relationship. Eh? It's we not, have to break back that vow. Is that the whole we, sex? Listen, is only we, some part of it? We gonna Things break. I used to do, I do them no listen more. Listen to me, everything I have to go and see and wear. <laughs> Every, everything I have to go and see and wear. Ladies, you want to see prestigious Christ- face yeah. when he said that. Christianity not change. Not change. You get me? Uh-huh. Your sexual preference, you not change that. Christianity. Why have you changed that? I shouldn't. No. If you're married, why have you changed that? So if the same thing we used to do before is the same thing we do same way because we're legally married now, right? And, but, but, and, and, but that as is we them your say. view. What if the woman has a different view? How do you respect the view that she has? You saw that little clip with the man say, lock back the phone. I <laughs> 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 said, break back the, release, the, 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 the marriage. <laughs> break it. <laughs> Because it, it might like a rocky. I found that funny. It's like a rocky. The relationship is oh, like a rocky. Oh boy. Clear. The relationship is going to rocky. If me in a relationship, right, with this young lady, and this young lady decide to turn her life over to the Lord, and we are not married, I miss a babe. This is not something because she get the calling. I miss a babe. Me not get my calling yet, you know. And this is not something where me really. You know what I mean? You know, this is not my um, religion. My religion is such and such, and she know that already. Right? And she said, Why? But we cannot live this kind of life no more, you know, Louis. We cannot live this kind of life any more prestige. I said, mm-hmm. Listen up, babe. Right? All right. We're going to get married. Just to straighten our life out on that level. You know, see? Boom. We get married. We get married. See where she tell me now, say. <laughs> she can't put her leg over there, so. Her leg <laughs> have to stay right here, so. <laughs> you get me? So me, I say, what is the sense? Because you say, you, you, you become a Christian, and I am a Rolian, and you cannot go underneath the, the, the temple of the Lord doing these things, and you are not married, legally married, 
I know you're legally married, and you're going to tell me no, say. Because you're legally married, you still can't do me kind of something there? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It can't work. It can't work. Uh, your so you're not you willing cannot, to give up certain lifestyles you to make join church, your partner. You can't make church mess up your relationship and your sexual relationship. You but can't which, make church do that. Which is more important, your relationship with God or with man? So God, I got vexed with me for me and my wife in my house. I do what I do. I'm be married. God, I got vexed with me for that. I don't know. So why you can't cut off certain things now? Cut off what? Certain things. That make me happy in my relationship. Oh. And it's supposed to make the Lord happy in the eyes. Yeah. I hear because you. Because we yeah. happy. Him so, and he make me happy. And he's supposed to happy too. I hear you, sir. It's a law and rules and regulations <laughs> that we're not know, supposed to do certain things because we're married and we're Christian. Eh? No. Me no want no Christian then. <laughs> me no want no Christian then. This one got... Prestige up and running, ladies. Me don't want no Christian. And I, I pricked him. Yeah. I pricked him off air because I yeah. know that I would have gotten the full length bill and receipt tonight on this one. Me don't want no Christian. <laughs> if I saw it go then, on my sexual relationship, I go rock it on a level there. And me can do my style when me want and she do her style and we enjoy it. Me don't want no Christian then. Because if I saw it go with the Christian thing, me don't want no Christian. Me remarried and live my life that way there. And me good to go. <laughs> yeah. So there, so what I'm getting is that people will be willing to give up certain things. Yeah. Christian can do certain things to them back when they're married. You know, see, mm-hmm. behind closed door in their house and then they come here, right? With their husband. Where the hell me married? Where she had Christ, turned Christian for? But, but there are persons, I'm sure, who would agree that, okay, you know what, this is the way I've wanted to go as well, all along as yeah. well. So my wife is going or my girlfriend is going that route. I'll go too. There are persons like that. But the majority, as one Texter said earlier, you find out more women might be willing to go along that route if a man proposes that, mm-hmm. as opposed to the number of men who would say, okay, honey, let's go to the church. Let's go to church. Yeah. Let's do this. Become this Christian that we, we've always thought about. And I think it's... And certain things, think, and certain things, and certain things in our relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Um, sexually, is going to have to cut off. Well, well ask you. there are some people who would say that. Yeah. So but you, there are some women who believe that they're not supposed to engage with their husbands certain way sexually when yeah. um yeah, in the church. There are people who believe that. So so you in a relationship. So the before. sexy night guns and the yeah. lingeries, they don't want to put them on, some of them. You listen to me. You in a relationship, right? So, Prestige finds that funny. Listen to me. Listen to me. You in a relationship, clear the clear, right? Yes. And your relationship going on perfectly all right. Mm-hmm. And you are not married. Perfectly all right. Mm-hmm. You are not married. Then all of a sudden now you get the call in. Mm-hmm. Right? And you decided that what you used to do before behind closed door mm-hmm. in your bedroom. Right? And you become a Christian now. And you said, and we said, okay. We're married, you know. Mm-hmm. And I say, well, prestige, them things that can't go on anymore, you know, because, you know, I turn myself <laughs> over to the Lord, you know, and them kind of style that cannot happen no more, it's, you know. It's see, too you know? brawling, it's too strong. Me go ask if God go vex. Okay. Me go definitely ask you, is the Lord going to vex? So, are you saying at that point then, when she presents those kind of arguments to you, She's not becoming a burden. They, they, they think the whole idea of this Christianity is becoming a burden. It's going to make the relationship rocky. Stressed. Put stress on the relationship. More than stress. Okay. It's going to make the relationship rocky. No man not going to go with them kind of things. Eh. And how much do you love her? Do you, would you want to stay or stick around? Or you, you decide, say, boy, you know what? I can't work with it, you know. But you know what? Can't manage. Are you, are you going to say, boy, I can't manage this, you know? May I cut, you know? May I cut and, 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 and go to. Me now can't work with it, you know? So it's only the sexual part make it, make it can't that, work with it? Eh? Everything else you just stay for. I don't work me. with her. The Christianity, the, the Christianity thing. The ring, the ring, ring. DG? Yes. A DG? <laughs> Whoa. No, I don't have finger that. Oh! No, sir. Yeah, I don't have finger Oh, uh, is she? Eh? Don't have your finger looks so white. Eh? Sorry, I can't call in. Prestige? Yeah. 
Eu fui a ficar nesse ah! aí. E a oh sua que a sua palma era bra pão, e eu vou a Let me see that again! Oh! Eu vou a sua pia sua lá lá! É? Beautiful! You go, é. girl! Enough love going out to you, baby girl. Let me kiss. Come down here. We get the ring in the face. Look at the face. How the face pretty. Me kiss. Come down. We get the ring in the face. Oh. Oh, Bunny, what a ring name there. That is so. Yeah. I got teary eyes just now. That's yeah. so brutal. It is so beautiful. It has passed to be you and gone to beautiful. Congratulations, Ooh. sweetie. Ooh. Yeah, man. Gosh. Congrats. Congrats to you both. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm like, oh, oh. Mm. okay. Man, I had the jump up for you, though. Know. Man, I had the jump up for you. <laughs> Let me calm my nerves right now, sister. I, I love these moments. I yeah. love these moments. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> Let's get back. Yeah. Style and fashion, no DJ. I tell you. Style and fashion. Nobody can tell you nothing. No. Nothing. You got to walk with the yeah. hand like, hello, sister. Not Hi, even honey. That. Yeah. <laughs> Not even that. You oh, can't do your boy. things, you know. Put See? the legs in there. Put the legs in there. Somebody can tell you nothing okay, on a church. Okay, sister. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations to my darling sister, DJ Angel. Okay. On saying yes. 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 What happened to this lady? <laughs> I yeah. love the excitement. The f- this is beautiful. This is a beautiful moment for me. I'm swearing. I swear. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> um, you call my crazy side to be coming out right now, DG. I don't know why you do this to me on, on air, yeah, but the know, crazy right. side is okay. coming out right now. Yeah. Yes. My crazy. <laughs> yeah, is what is. The ring. The ring. <laughs> the car ring. <laughs> All right. So, great moment there. Um, I forgot to find one nice. I forgot to find one nice dress. And maybe buy, buy one ticket. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, congrats to both of you. All right. So, we're looking at Prestige. Donald says, Prestige, it seems even pastors are now saying, back um <clears throat> position yeah. in your relationship is sinful your relationship with you and your wife is sanctioned for all types of sexual acts yeah the word all yeah. just say yeah. sexual acts yeah. <laughs> they all suggesting all <laughs> and i don't think i want to go to all <laughs> Well, take all the all for that. Yes, yeah. but I know what you mean. I know what yeah. you mean. But, you know, there are persons who can say, I know of cases, I've heard of cases, and yeah. I know of at least two cases I can remember in the past where the person became a Christian mm-hmm. and would have killed the man with stress. Yeah. The, I stress out the poor man, for, you know, mm-hmm. for, for come to church and for stop do this mm-hmm. and for stop. Mm-hmm. And it happens all the time. Yeah, it happens. Mm. And what that. it is that you would want your partner, mm. sorry, to live, you know, what, what, you, what you would probably deem as a wholesome life, you have to also bear in mind that an Im- imposition you're imposing on your partner is only going to create some level of discomfort and burden for them. Mm-hmm. And then how they used to feel about you, right? Yeah. yeah. It, how, how they used to feel about you. It's gonna somehow change. Yeah, take time for you. Yes, yeah. and it's not that they don't love you anymore. Mm-hmm. Don't get it wrong. Mm-hmm. They might still have that strong, deep love for you, but the, the way you're putting them under distress the mm-hmm. makes them very uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. And the moment a person is under some form of discomfort or stress or burden, they're not gonna react in the very same way that they used to. No, and, and, and that make relationship kind of get rocky. Yeah, and, and, you know and start mean? having you know? issues yeah, unnecessarily. If the man, if the man not ready for go in. In church, the way that you are because in. Because he don't get the call. Right? <laughs> you keep on talking about and this no, no, call. No, no, then the ah. lady get the call in. And she get it. Right? Ah. But if you don't get it. Right? And he don't feel like say, him ready to surrender himself to the Lord. Right? As yet. And she keep pressure him. I keep pressuring him. Pressuring him. Pressuring him. Mm. Because some of the time some churches start church too, you know. Oh, you get me, I say? what, what you know? do they say? And somebody look miserable and them too, they don't even have a boyfriend. <laughs> in a church, sit down in a church and they don't even have a boyfriend too. 
You know, see? They are pressuring you like, what do they the say? Woman, eh? What do they say sometimes? Oh, Sister Smith. Sister Smith, why you don't make Sister Brother, Brother Junior come to church? And I, I saw him around you at the bar, sit down and have a drink with him, friend them. And you're in church. <laughs> you're a holy home, I know, you know. You get me? You're a holy home, I know. You cannot make things like that in your life. It doesn't look good. You get me? Add them around the relationship for you. You get me, I say? Try to control the relationship. I'm not joke. Like you've yeah. been there, done that. You <laughs> no, know? but we can't ah. tell you. You sound like he has the experience. I'm not joking, you. A real talk, uh, you know. And do they, and do, when she explains and, and speaks of probably an issue that might be affecting her, yeah. they might have something negative to say because I'm not a Christian. And if, and if you come at church, ooh, ooh, ooh. The, 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 the wife, if she complains to her, so she's having an issue. Yeah. And she might share it with her friend. The friend mm. might be telling her. And along the negative lines, so yeah, you know, yeah. instead of telling her how to deal with the problem, she's probably yeah. finding to say, What is another church sister? Yeah, I'm talking, is another yeah, church yeah, sister? so that, that she's referring church. to, she don't even have a boyfriend or husband. Sometimes you say they are miserable too, you get me, or they're having issues with their husbands, having issues, right? Husband <laughs> take up himself, gone, so she know they pan the woman case with a <laughs> good, good husband, can them all right and then comfortable that way, they I live their life until. Because when they go home, they sit down and then talk about them and talk about that little way about the only thing about it. She may not like if you know, say, well, him hang out with her, so, mm-hmm. and she have to pass him there, so, mm-hmm. and go home, go from, home from church. And then stuff. everybody else here and say, Hi, Sister Smith. How you doing, Sister Smith? And then the husband sit down there and drink rum. <laughs> and she and three, four church sisters pass. And the spirit is good for the so- stomach's sake. From? Yeah. And then little way oh, there. They might walk and go down there, so now you hear... The, 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 the little miserable one with fear of life miserable because fear of husband gone left her because she miserable herself with her husband and he gone left her. I tell the woman now, say, oh, you feel me? Everything's happen. <laughs> every day, every night, every night we coming from prayer, prayer meeting and, 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 your, and your husband sit down out there. You know, it, it, it doesn't look good. Or carry some other story. You know? Me see husband you know? sit down a yeah. bar, talk to um, the girl will live round the road, Ro- blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Find something to say. Even if it's, you know, they, if it's really nothing, they, they put it in a way that mm. would want you to create some issue. This is what I mean, like, I don't want no, 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 in a relationship, I nobody force up nothing for me. No yeah. other re- religion, I know religion for me, force it on for me. And I tell me, say, I have to come in a church with her because the life that she are living, she don't want to live that life anymore. So she has a choice to either stay or yeah. go, work with you, or to go? Yeah. Okay. But now you're forced up nothing for me. All right. Well, we are going to be jumping onto the box. And box. worse again, if, 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 if your denomination is different from my denomination. You get my message? Respect each other's yeah. view. My denomination may be the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> your denomination <laughs> at the church. I hear you. So make me work with where I work with. You get my message? And if you say, you want me to stop. You know, see, you love for me, you know, because it does not look good for me to sit down there and have a drink there and look away there, right? Mm-hmm. And then look away there. I say, all right, babe, I'm not going to do that anymore. You know, see, I find a next place go go sit down where she not have to pass me none at all. <laughs> Until we come to some form of understanding, you know, where I feel like, you know, you know, I'll go to church with you sometimes Sundays and stuff like that. Uh, prestige, I, I agree with... But no force up nothing for me. Prestige, I agree with you. One person texted in earlier. Mm. All right. Mm. Um, well, as it relates to that, you know that um, imposing creates a problem, as we said earlier. So it's for some level of mutuality. You, 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 you've decided to make this transition in your life. You now have to sit with the partner and discuss it. Hear the views of the partner, where the partner stands on this issue. So a young where lady you like stand. you, a young lady like you, now, yes. really clear, right? Mm-hmm. And you become Christian. Yes. Would you change up your your, your 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 sexual lifestyle because you become Christian and your husband is not a Christian, but you and him married? Mm-hmm. It must be changed for the better. Eh? Must change it for the better, not for the worse. Okay, we're up on a break. Good. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. The time is now 11.30. That, and it's brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Nassau Native Audio Stage and Lighting are the sponsors of Real Talk. Soon come. 
Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. <laughs> Digital tip. Our brain. No, no. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car? or having a garage sale then come see us let styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160 advertising style advertise with styles For complete auto repairs and services, come to Akon Auto Technology, located at 33 Bumble Crescent, Port Antonio, Jamaica. We offer specialist services in wheel alignment and wheel balancing, brake drum and disc rotary servicing, state-of-the-art ultrasonic cleaning and testing of your fuel injectors. We also stock an assorted range of auto service parts, tires and motorcraft batteries. If we don't have it, we will source it for you. Call us at 876-715-5205. Or email AconAutoTech16 at gmail.com. Acon Auto Technology, beyond the typical auto mechanic shop. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Indeed, welcome back to Real Talk. We have a few more minutes with you. And of course, before we go to our article tonight, very interesting one about women. Yeah, or for women. Uh, let me say thanks to all the people who shared and, you know, expressed their views on our Vox Pop idea for tonight. We appreciate all the input, all those who what, called in, texted in, and yeah, we, we appreciate that. All right, guys? So until next time, we do this all over again for you. Thank you for being a part of it as well. All right, we go to our article for tonight, and it's about, um, it's from lovepanky.com, one of our favorite sources, your guide to better love and relationships by Ethan Kent, this article was done by Ethan Kent. 23 must know relationship advice for women. So those women who love to impose and push up and force because, okay, the man must do this and he must do that. You can try. If it works, it works for you, but it won't work for everybody. 
All right? And it's not always good to be that kind of person who imposes because persons do not like to be burdened. And the same way you don't like to be burdened, let's not burden anybody. Yeah, and I make nobody burden you either. All right? So here we go with this article. 23 must-know relationship advice for women. Love isn't complicated or painful. In fact, it's effortless. In my view, it should be effortless. As long as you keep these 23 must-know tips and relationship advice for women in mind. So really and truly, love should not be complicated at all. And it should not be painful. It should be an effortless, seamless endeavor. Yeah? Are you having a hard time in love? Do you find yourself getting frustrated by your man to no end? Ladies, is that the case? Or do you worry your man isn't into you the way he once was? Hmm. It's funny, isn't it? Women want perfect romance. Men want perfect romance. <clears> oh, <throat> yes, eh? And yet, somehow, most men and women just don't seem happy when they come together to create the romance. That's ironic. It starts off perfectly, just like they say it would in fairy tales. It's all bliss and romance for a good year or two. And then things just start to change. Masa. And that perfect romance you once found just vanished into thin air right before your eyes. A, a real talk, you know? This is a real talk. Have you experienced it? Well, it's never too late to change your romance stars and bring love and happiness back into your life. Must know, must know relationship advice for women. If you're still dating, well... You are not in a committed relationship yet. So you can use the Love Panky Dating Girls Code to help you get off to the perfect start. But if you're in a committed relationship... Where am I? Yes, committed relationship. Read on. Because these must-know relationship advice could help you. And it really could change your life for the better. The one big relationship tip all girls need to know. So if you really want your thing to work, or if you really want to, you know, see how best you can help it to work, maybe this next point or so can help you to get it right. Many women say they try hard, but they just can't make relationships work. A few others say they have no idea when the relationship started to go bad. But in reality, all of us know what we need to do to fix a relationship all the time. Not true. We either can't butter or the other person can't butter. But we procrastinate. Assume the effort is just not worth the hustle. True. Or we're too egotistic to bend over. Some men just think, say, oh, me, I apologize to she now. I now apologize, I'm bigger than that. I'm a one girl there. And I can't get more girl. I may have more girl. I'm this, I'm that. And they throw the blame in game. And it's just sometimes really and truly the one person or the other is just too egotistic and don't want to play their part to ensure that they get it right. A real talk. So procrastination is one. They keep putting off and delaying things that should be done. It's not done. Um, so if you're real, if you really want your relationship to work out, just keep one piece of advice in mind. Trust your instincts. Enough time some women get some instinctive ideas and thoughts and they push it one side and say, no, sir. And they run on, head on into danger. And it happened to men too. But it's as simple, it's as simple as that. If you feel like something's not right, in all prob probability, something is definitely wrong. 
communicate and make the effort. At times, the relationship may be a failed cause because your man's a bad guy. <laughs> but almost always, the relationship stagnates because you and your lover have started to take the relationship for granted. Real that's in a prestige. You know how many women are in relationships and take the man for granted? You know how many men take their women for granted? And if it's one lesson I've learned in my little lifetime, mommy always say, don't take no one or anything. Don't take anything or anybody for granted. I see you or something, you know? Yeah. Because the moment you start thinking that, oh, her views no matter. Mm -hmm. And his views no matter. She not going to know it because I'm a supporter. I'm a take care of her. Yeah. You know, she can't leave. She not know where else to go. I mean, I put her up. The moment you start thinking, okay, um, <clears throat> him love me have, I'm in love the position of my game, so I'm not going nowhere. I can't do anything and get away with it. Are we, are we, we start taking little, little things for granted. Then, mm. of course, that's where the breakdown starts half of the time. Mm -hmm. But if we, if we treat the other person how we really, really mm. want to be treated, then I really think that a little glitch so not have every now and again, which, which everybody will have, mm -hmm. can fade away. That's true. Because the love will always turn up strong and yeah. stiff. Huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. hmm. 23 relationship tips for a better love life. Donald, listening in, my brother. I know you are. <laughs> if you're looking for relationship advice, I feel him, yeah. <laughs> if you're looking for relationship advice for women, just keep these 23 tips in mind. Uh, it'll help you experience better relationships and have a better love life too. Number one, serious thing, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a woman and she says she love you, worry without end, and she's not doing these things, ask her what kind of love, to define her love, please. Yeah? Uh-huh. Play with him. Number one, play with him. And play means play everywhere. Play with him everywhere, you know, all the time, if you, if, yeah, if you can. Playfulness is the one thing that holds a happy relationship together more than anything else. Just because you're past your childhood doesn't mean you should act all grown up all the time. Trust me, grown up life is sometimes boring, ugh, boring and stuck up. Mm. Me love picking my teeth. Yeah. Me love to romp like puppy. Yeah. Yes, man. Keeps you young and fresh. Where is it? You don't see me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, boy. So you play. Yes. You hear me, Cassidy? Don't only listen to that road and listen to me too. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Right. Play. Ladies, play with the gentleman. Yes, man. And if he likes a particular place where you play with him, play with him there. Yeah. I know you that say yes. Mm -hmm. Number two, men are mm. easily influenced by other men around them in their life. Mm -hmm. If his friends and other guys in the room think you're a dream catch, He'll fall more in love and stay more in love with you mm -hmm. and avoid straying away from you. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's a, you're my youth. You have a nice girl, man. Yeah. I respect her star because mm -hmm. I know, say, you know, so and so and so and so and A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. And you say to yourself, say, yo, star. Come on, tell me room. <laughs> Come on, tell me room. Aye. Yeah. Ooh. Me know yeah, that man. Really, so. Me that. Come on, tell me room. Men are easily influenced. It's true, you know? Mm. Men are easily influenced. Yeah. And sometimes when they say good, mm. they, they run with it. But when they say bad, too, they run with it too. Mm. Some of them fool fool. Come too. Out of my room. You know Number I'm three, not, not all men understand the art of chivalry. Romantic gestures and romance. It's true. Some of them never grew up with it. Mm. They never they not get that kind of love and nurturing mm. to understand how, you know, yeah, to rough be and yeah, rough and, and tough and coarse. Mm. Instead of giving up on him, show him the way by example, and he'll learn to treat you with respect. Sad to say, not all of them got it. Got what it takes to transform. But there are some, try with them. Yeah. If you really love him and mean him well, mm. try with him. I have been there. You can't teach him to. Not you. Try, try. Don't Sometimes you try to hear your advice and look at a man. Top. Leave me alone, man. But, but try. 
try as much as you can. Yeah. If it's gonna it's just gonna rub off your sanity, mm. that's a whole different Until story, my mom. Kingdom come. Right. Four, listen to his point of view, ladies. Before arguing back or cutting across him, it's the easiest way to prevent tempers from rising. Walk and in. don't be condescending either. Don't scuff your nose at him and look down on him as mm. if he is beneath you. Mm. No. Whether you're feeding him or clothing him or giving him shelter, it's not nice when somebody does something nice for you. And because they, they know they are doing it, they are condescending with you. I hate that. Don't do it. Not nice. And the women, them have a style, you know. Some of them do, for yeah. true. Of course, if the man even live with them, yeah. Lord of his mercy. Mm -hmm. And if, at a reverse is true too, but... Yeah. And if some like a soft man too, you know, you know what I mean? Mm. Five. Yeah. You can't change someone. At that with you know. Mm. Who doesn't want to change? You can't change a person who don't want to change. Simply I have a, lived and learned that. I draw him in a religion. Help your man understand you better and help him learn by example. But if it doesn't, if, but if he, do, he doesn't want to change for you, perhaps he doesn't respect you or care enough for you and you need someone else who can love you for who you are and when we said change we don't mean change him film start go to your church we're not really saying that we're talking about other aspects of his life that you know within yourself that boy this attitude if he changes this attitude things will be better between us that may talk about and start to live your lifestyle right not necessarily that i'm just mm -hmm. saying change for for the better yeah or a change that will enhance the life that you both want to live okay so you have to know when to compromise yeah you know both persons need to know when to compromise that's all i'm saying okay all right um i love window shopping mm -hmm. and i love just i love shopping mm -hmm. i love to travel yes i wouldn't want the man to come tell me say look you know you're not go back and no more foreign you, don't don't be don't, they can't do that go do window shopping no, with a window or through the door or mm. wherever don't tell me that i am no longer allowed to travel because i love to travel yeah but i want to travel go ochi travel go foreign i love traveling yeah so don't tell me i love the movies yeah. don't tell me you know i'm start you want to start go movies don't tell the man that he can sit down there and have a drink with him friend him and play domino you get me? When you come from church with the church, he said, I have a lamp and I drive my tents if you left this one. <laughs> Don't tell him on that. Right, right, right. <laughs> you can't change someone if they don't want to change. All right? Um, let me go to number six. Don't constantly remind him of his past failures. Oh, Lord. Men are very sensitive when it comes to past mistakes. Nobody is more sensitive than a man when it comes to come on to certain things. Them soft like porridge, although them ones are tough. Them soft emotionally, I swear it. He'll clam up like a shell if you use his past failures to get him to accept defeat or listen to you. Trust me, resentment chips in. Him no want to hear nothing more from you, and him start look out, look somewhere else because him him start feel differently towards you. The past is just the past. Yeah. So leave it alone. And don't draw for it when it's, a, when it's convenient. That's yeah. not nice. Yeah. Leave mm. it alone. Don't blame yourself. You'll nev you're never entirely at fault if the relationship starts to suffer. So don't blame yourself. Ladies, you hear that? Completely. If you're experiencing a bad relationship, accept responsibility. But don't blame yourself unless it is really, unless it really is your fault. And my view is... It is never always just one person's fault. So ladies, don't be beating up on yourself. Worse if the man is that kind of person who plays on your mind and your emotion. Most that of make the time, you, I make you think. Fault. Most of don't the do time. that. Most of the time. No, we'll yeah. not accept that. Yeah. No. Mm. No. Most of the time. Hmm. I have a friend who would say, mm. your every action causes a reaction. A reaction. But it's the same thing. Maybe his reaction, his action caused her reaction. Could very well be that too sometimes. Yeah. Men can't okay. read minds. Oh my God, ladies, we are guilty of this. Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus, it is said. So two worlds apart, men will never ever think like how we think. There are some men who are sensitive and can pick up on a woman's, you know, desires and needs sometimes. But they can never ever think like us fully and... 
yes, we can be complex beings too, but they can't read our minds. And I'm sure Dandan would agree. <laughs> and Donald, as convinced as you are that men should have the innate ability to read a woman's mind, they really can't. So speak your mind and he will listen to your thoughts. Well, hopefully he will listen to your thoughts. <laughs> Once I don't think you start nagging. Number nine. No guy likes a drama queen. <laughs> Especially if she's looking for ways to complicate the relationship. Okay, ladies, if you want out, just say you want out. Don't find a way to complicate it by being a drama queen. If that's your only escape and it works for you, then fine. But if he's an okay, normal guy, cool-headed guy, and it's not working enough, you can talk with him. Yeah, get it over with. But don't be the drama queen, all right? The silent treatment, number 10. Ignoring your boyfriend when he's hurt, when he hurts you, may seem like the best way to teach him a lesson. But truth be told, the silent treatment won't make him stop hurting you. It'll, it's only, it'll only make him a better liar. Silent treatment. I guess some women like when they're silent and he comes and he... You know, plays with them and sex and makeup and yeah, and upon that, and upon that. Mm -hmm. And silent treatment work for, work for some works for some people, not everybody. It depends on what the situation is because there are certain things you can be quiet about for a while and go on internalize it and mm -hmm. think about it mm -hmm. and analyze how you're gonna treat the situation. Mm -hmm. And there are some where you have to just open your mouth and talk the things then. Mm -hmm. Talk what is on your mind. Yeah. Talk what about you. Yeah. Now keep it in. Hmm. Eleven. You and your partner are a team. There are no winners or losers between partners. Either both of you will win or both of you will lose together. Real talk. So any issue has to be worked out to better the relationship, not to win points. But the whole Christian thing, work it out together. How I feel about you becoming a Christian. This is how I feel. This is what you choose to do. What's our middle ground? How do we approach now? Enough of the times, you know. Prestige and a real yeah. talk. Yeah. Women and men, mm -hmm. and I'm speaking generally now, stop having these heart-to-heart -heart conversations, you know. If we sit on and have a civil conversation some of the time, things work out better, you know. And you respect the person's view, then disagree with you upon something. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. You share something, and they share something, and you disagree with them. Mm -hmm. The bold people being adults and being mature people should be able to say, okay, he didn't agree with this. I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. What is the middle ground? Is the common mm -hmm. ground? Mm -hmm. So what do you want us to do from here? Where do we go from here? Mm -hmm. We're not, we not talk no more. Just pure vexation and cost cost. Mm -hmm. Some people depend. And that not put nobody in the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So you're a team. Work together. Twelve. Men think they hate high maintenance women. <laughs> they call me that. I don't know why. But that's exactly the kind of girl they secretly desire. There are some men who have the money. Wagga wagga. High maintenance girls they want. Ladies they want. And wives. Seriously. And there are some who say, me can't afford you. But at the end of the day, I think they really, really want that type. Some of them. The ones who really don't want that type are the ones who mean like terrible. They don't want to get a woman. Nothing at all. Mm -hmm. They want nothing for the woman. So if she eye maintenance, they don't really want to look that way because they feel that she might want something. Mm -hmm. But really and truly, the eye maintenance ones, in the mo for the most part, can maintain themselves. The ones who are not ambitious and want to achieve anything are the ones who can depend on you. Be smart. Be wise. Like me, who daddy rude thinks me can't afford she can every day she have a new every week she have a new head, according to him. Or I might do my nails or something. Yo, yeah, I maintenance. No, some who don't want to look in your direction. A girl eh. like you, I'm like. I'm gonna deal with it. Oh. Is, is a career. Career yeah. oriented woman. Right. Alright, sir. You are spending your own money for That's yourself. right. Yeah. That's so, right. You still have money left back for take care of me. <laughs> you think yeah. you're easy? 13. Love is a complex blend. 
of physical attraction and emotional attachment for men. True, they go by what they see for true. Make a man realize that he needs you emotionally before he sees all of you sexually. Real talk, a smart girl can do that. 14. Every guy loves a girl huh? who's a lady on the street and a freak in the sheet. Paraphrased. <laughs> 15. That's true, too. 15. Love is full of layers. Take time to fall in love. Cassidy, you're young. Tell your girlfriend that. And experience the relationship one step at a time. <laughs> Rushing too soon or moving in together too soon can make him think twice about his commitment to you even before he's really falling in love. That's not real talk too. Real, real talk. 16. Don't let yourself go in your... In your in a if you're in a long-term relationship, sexual attraction plays a big part in a happy romance. Work out and look your best if you want your man to desire you more than he desires any other woman. A true mark you, baby might put on some pounds on you. No problem. Um, because you're comfy now and you get more relaxed. Mm -hmm. You might find yourself putting on a little bit of pounds. Mm -hmm. But try not to make it, you know, mm -hmm. kind of one place. Go overboard. Yeah, man, we just mm -hmm. start look mm -hmm. different from the person he really fell in love with. Yeah. Try to maintain. Mm, Let me know why uh, I lose some points, seriously. Mm -hmm. Yes, man, too it's fat. Easy to lose, yeah. <laughs> so, keep up. Don't let yourself go. Stop um, walking around the house and you have on the long tear up, tear up. Oh, stress them. Mm. And the long, frumpy-looking nightgowns mm. that their great-grandmother used to wear. They wake up a man and see him nightgown in her all to When he come back, oh. Yeah. 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 Be able and, and fresh up and, and smell yeah. nice. When he pass, he say, oh, my God. And you open the door. Yeah, as you open the door, he say, oh. Uh. Yeah. Let him see you in something, especially, especially if, if there are no kids in the house, yeah? yeah. Let him see you and say, oh my God, all I want to do is go beard and just grab her. Let him want to have dinner yet. Yeah. So I'm going to feel. You see yeah. your face, I light up like a bulb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, look good. So he desires you all the time. Yeah? You never finished a while ago. I know, you like so. <laughs> Sexual attraction plays a big part in a happy romance. Work out and look your best if you want your man to desire you more than he desires any other woman. That's yeah, man, true. finish. Mm -hmm. 17, insecurity woes. Don't let, don't let your insecurities get the better of you. Sex appeal is all in your mind and how you project yourself. All right, don't allow yourself to be insecure. If the man really loves you, I really give him love. Yeah. And I'm going to admit it, and despite he might go out there, which we don't want him to, some women don't. Mm -hmm. We don't normally do but Despite, that. I know, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Despite them, they might go out there, at the end of the day, I think they come back to sometimes a particular woman mm -hmm. who they spend their, most of their time with, their resources with, and it's that woman they're into. Mm -hmm. All right, so don't let insecurities get the better of you. And worse, when you have no proof of, proof of anything, try not even to bother prolong some something too much some of the time. Yeah, praise him for his achievements. Oh yes, even if it's small, he'll try harder all the time just to win your praise. Make him feel nice. Cause sometimes I'm not feeling nice since when I grow up, you know. Oh God, me feel sorry for some of them some of my time. Some of them can't do no better. But praise him, man. Do something nice. Him come in and you weren't around and he washed the clothes. They might not pin up good on the line. But oh my God, the fact that him wash for you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I want to make you make me. This is a run from my kerchief. Look how you make. No, 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 no. Praise him. Mm hmm. Wash the bathroom. It not wash. It not tan good. <laughs> I the clothes for you. It not iron good. But still praise him because of the effort that he made. Yeah. 19. Don't try too hard to please your man. Oh, yeah. So we should have one else now. If your gestures aren't reciprocated. Oh. So if you are try hard to please him and him not give back the same kind of treatment, him not reciprocate it. Yeah. Not try so hard. A true. True, true, true. He'd just take you for granted. Instead, make him realize just how lucky he is to have you. Most guys just take things for granted. 
instead of realizing how lucky they are. Number 19, I'm a favorite. If you say, listen to me, honey, I'm going to take you here or take you there or do this for you. And you, you, you give me like a pamper in one night time and you come in and say, one of the day, and say, boy, you know, my, my feet hurt. Mm. Do so and so for me. And you might give one vibe like in can bother. Yeah. Like, oh, if you continue to try hard. No, 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 no. Women need the same thing that men need in terms of treatment and, you know, there's a kind gestures. They want it. We want it too. Yeah, 20. A man needs his space, even if he doesn't ask for it. As long as he's by himself or with his guy friends, you really have nothing to worry about. In fact, it'll help both of you love each other better. Real talk. Real talk. He doesn't always want to be around you, ladies. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. He love you, but he doesn't always want to be around you. Right, Prestige? Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? 21, get kinky. Ooh, la la. Ladies, a relationship needs to evolve all the time. So, and so doesn't sex, so does sex, sexual intimacy. If you think your sex life is starting to get predictable or boring, try something new every now and then. Right, Prestige? Yes. Talking dirty is a great way to kickstart your sexual adventure. If you are not a Christian, <clears throat> da, 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 22 da, da, da. don't knee him before don't knee him before the below the belt sorry using sarcasm or snide comments if he feels help, helpless or emotionally violated he'll stop communicating with you mm. real talk 23 mm. be his shoulder to lean on oh my god as much as he seems he's Almost always a child, true, true, who needs a woman's love to give him emotional strength. These tips could seem pleasantly easy to follow, but as you read these relationship advice, advices, do you really think you are following all these tips in your own life? Real talk. Some well, that's where we end the show tonight. I love this article. Yeah. I'm going to read this article again mm -hmm. and see which part of them I might, might have, you know, fallen short on. A little short. Yeah. I'm good with many of them, though. Most of them I'm good with. Yeah, yeah. me think so. Yeah, you man. So? Yeah, man. Yeah. Me, me try hard, you know. Come on, me try. I'm going to order, I go home. Wow. Me go home now still. It's now <laughs> two past, <laughs> three past, 12 o'clock, guys. It's great. It was a great uh, show. Great being with you. Thank you all so very much for being with us. Congratulations again to DG Angel yeah. and Hubby to Be. All right. And on behalf of our engineer.